We have finally made it to sunny Los Angeles, California. This is the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. After four divisionals all across the country in Phoenix, in Austin, in Florida, in Baltimore, we've seen team after team after team, and we've come down to the final dozen. And all of these teams, we split into two, and they're gonna be playing each other over full play over the next two days. And guys, we have the team that I know a lot of you guys are here to see. Destroying and Coach OTV's pressure, facing off against the North Divisional Champions, Level 82 right here. I'm your man, Kieran, joined here by Overtime Tom. Tom, what should we be looking forward to here? Man, first time seeing pressure at the OT7 Championship. I cannot wait. Everyone's been ready for this. And I think they're going to play really well. Look, Coach OTB said it best before the game. He said everyone, they got a target on their back. Yeah. Because they got D here, they got a lot of star power, but, you know, I think that that's gonna that's gonna wane off over these next four days, and I think we'll be in good shape. They also got Kyan Barry, wide receiver, one of the best players. He has probably the best play of OT7 history over at OT7 North in Baltimore. Yeah. And look, I need to see if they can win some games. Okay, they got to come out. They got a new quarterback, Deuce Knight, lefty, tall guy. Let's get it rocking. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a fun game. 22 minutes on the clock. Pressure. Let's get it going. Easy completion there on first down. First pass there for Deuce Knight. Looks pretty good. We got Jerome Harris, Dwayne Jerome Harris there. New addition to the pressure squad. But as you know, they have some really talented wide receivers, man. Kyan Barry Johnson facing off against Chance Wiggins in this matchup. I'm so excited to see this. Those were undoubtedly the two best wide receivers we saw at the Baltimore Divisional. Yes. Did he Chance have the Wiggins best catch like, OT7 history? 100%. Oh, 100%. Bro, he had 100%. the best catch I've ever seen. No, no, no. Oh! No. Couldn't bring that one in one handed though. That is Kaya Barry Johnson right there. <laughs> he tried to get that one. Maybe, hey, maybe, maybe he was getting a little. Uh, I really think the Kaya Barry catch is better than Odell's catch. It was to win. It was to win the game. It was to win the game. Like it was raining. Mm -hmm. I might have just made that part up. No, it was raining. <laughs> no, people forget about that. It was raining. It was raining. It was to win the game. It was a hail mary, and he caught it with three dudes right yeah, there. Yeah, and a Charlie no, horse I mean, as well. Odell Nobody even said on, like, that. Monday night football, whatever. That was a walk off touchdown. That, no, that, that might be the greatest catch in YouTube football history, too. No, nah, no, nah, it definitely is. Yeah. It ranks up there, bro. I'm excited to see what he do today. I also got my boy Zach Sample out here. This night, looking to throw that one away. Brought the blitz. He got touched down. That's going to be a turnover on down for pressure. Turnover on down. 2-0 down early. Level 82 Level with the lead. on the board first. Classic, hey, classic pressure. Two points. Well. I'm pressure taking the pressure. Yeah. Already starting Level 82 early with the money drop. Down. First yeah, drop of the game. Wow. They're going for the next. Oh, hey, this hey. is Tom. Tom is written <laughs> all over this, bro. <laughs> that was Joey O'Brien on the stop. And we saw him a little bit earlier. Snipe. I know my facts, man. He tied, he tied the record. He tied Martel Carter's record. For, for for turnover or for interceptions in a game, yeah. I'm three. impressed, bro. You got me. I'm impressed. You know, I'm I had impressed. to. That's you're, you're, hey, you're a vet, man. I should have known better to question you, bro. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Tell you. And shout out to Martel's Carter though, because he is now on team pressure. We saw him on the SMSB. Now he's going to be on the pressure team. He's not out there currently. He yep. will be wearing number 14 That's this weekend game for pressure. Hey, Martel is probably on one of his. 3,000 visits he's probably went on like the last two days. <laughs> I've never seen somebody go to so many unofficial visits. He probably has enough jerseys in his basement to, 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 I don't, it, it can make it look like the, the, the Canton Football Hall of Fame in his room probably. So. <laughs> Ooh. 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 It was a nice little route to break off the linebacker over the middle, and then he got met as soon as he that caught is, that ball. Wow. Yeah, that's another new addition of team pressure. Marco Jones, the linebacker tight end combo over the middle, wearing number 10. That kid is huge. He also plays baseball, one of the top players in the country. Can throw an 87 mile an hour ball from midfield. Or Jeez, from field. 87? Yeah. I mean, I threw that in high school. Yeah, I could do that. I could throw that right now, actually. 87 is impressive. 87 is some heat, bro. I but could, he did it high school. Kid. I could drive that fast. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sidwar looking over the middle. Wow. And they're going to throw a flag on that one for a hole. I didn't see that one, ref. I did not see that one. We got a hold defense. Man. Oh, they caught a hold on defense. That, hey, that could that, be I did not see that one. I'm not going to lie to you. It looked like good defense to me. He was right at the line. That's going to get Chat, what do we Look at number two. Look at number two right over the middle right here. They called this a hold. No, that's a bad call. Chat, what do we think, man? They're screwing pressure. What do you think? Hey, still third down. First down. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe level 82 got bailed out right there. I thought that was good contact at the line of scrimmage. I didn't really see that one. 
Oh, oh good pass break up there for hey, pressure. Hey, 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 I, I don't want to jinx this team, but I got to say it early. Listen, pressure has been having problems on defense the entire OT7 experience. This is my first time seeing them actually clamp down, make teams struggle. They're not getting nothing far. Everything is close, under. They're playing well. They, they like did bring it. some new names here, though. They got some defensive playmakers. One of the best defensive players we've seen at these divisionals is Martellus Second Carter. Game. That's Cam the Cameron Chance Brooks just made that break up there. He's another new addition to this pressure team. So we'll see. Coach OTB's got them boys right, but that's a pickup for a first down right there for level 82. Oh. Sidwar finds his guy over the middle. We got a new ref on the sideline. Also. We do have a new ref. Man, man, man. Where's D at, by the way? He's over there. Uh, he's over here in the cut, man. Uh, waving his hand. You see him over oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's him right there. <laughs> can he hear me? Now, he can definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go chop it up with him, man. See what he's thinking real quick. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Got a first down here for level 82. Trying to extend their lead. Gavin Sidware dropping back. Chance Wiggins running over the middle. Won't see him, but he's got a wide oh. open. Got, oh, got his foot in. What a catch. Jaden Newman. Do you say Jaden Newman? Jaden Newman. Like Julian Newman's like sister? Like Jaden Newman, yes, yes. That Jaden yeah. Newman, the best high school basketball player of all time? One yes. of the best shooters Four, ever? Love 82, yes. 12. 100%. The, the famous rapper and singer? The most the shiftiest player you've ever seen in your entire life. Shout out to Jaden Newman, man. Great catch. <laughs> Great catch, Jaden Newman. That is awesome. Sam, Look we gotta put her in the headline. Barely got his foot inside. Money drives. Going, money for the, drive, going for money the money drive. drive on. Money drive on the first drive there for, yep. for level 82. So they get 10 points for that one. Got Perfect opportunity to explain to you the scoring. Personally. Money drive, you get 10 points. If you score a touchdown on that drive, you get four touchdown. points. The defense gets four points if they get a stop and six points if they get an interception. So very key drive here early on in the game. Oh, that's a good pass. For pressure. Good pass oh, over the way. middle looking for his guy. He gets tapped. We got another flag back here. Play. He's fast, bro. If, if, that, if that's what a first and second down back is, that's not Off me. Off the down. Here we go, second down here. <laughs> that's definitely not, not me. Bro. That they, is not. That's the way Jerome Harris. Now. Are they called another flag? Yeah, bro. Another, another flag. Down. Bro, man. they've been throwing these flags all day. Like, oh, like, Chat, oh, what do y'all think, man? What do y'all think about these refs, man? They, they, they're quick to, th they're quick to blow a whistle out here, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Hey, ref. I ain't gonna tell you who. It's two dudes up there at the booth. They been saying y'all been throwing these flags a little <laughs> quick, man. What you think about that? Hey, I'm on the sideline, man. I'm just stick to my position. All right, man. Jones trying to. Oh, Kyan Johnson with the catch there for Deuce first down, Knight. First down. We moving. Hey, the ref literally caught somebody outside as he was talking yeah, to the <laughs> Hey, I think it's not the hey, ref's fault, bro. Hey, I literally want to see so these dudes too. offside. Snipe, look, you're right. It's like the more you distract them, the better. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, listen. For twenty dollars, a lot of things can happen. I'll just. Play. Hey, yo. Snipe, you just need to hand them a piece of paper with five dollars attached to it that says I'm twelve. <laughs> but they'll put you out there. You get to see how much of a third down back you really are, you know? Five yards, still first down. Five uh, yards, Another down. flag first down. on the play. Offense. A Five false start three. here. Goodness gracious. And they switched up the coach, man. They got coach actually calling the plays, yeah, man. Yeah, coach like OTB's calling time. plays. We talked to Destroying about that earlier this week. He said that he got to call a couple of the plays last time, and they were actually moving the ball down the field. So coach OTB's doing both duties. You know, he's he's doing the thing on defense, and he's also calling plays on offense. Deuce Knight over the middle. Oh, just behind his target. Nearly intercepted there. Andrews pass there to Deuce Knight is a tall kid, bro. 6'5". Like I said, man, they, <laughs> we got to find a video of that maybe tomorrow or something these, like that. These There's magic jerseys, bro. I didn't know if it was Deuce Knight or Penny Hardaway, bro. I didn't know who was up there, bro. <laughs> There is a video of him dunking on wide receiver Zachariah Sample that I got. I still got to talk to Zach about, man. Yeah, I'm man, you up bringing that up? I, it's, I got to <laughs> I gotta, I gotta talk about that, man. You know, I can't let my boy get disrespected out here. You know, not by a quarterback. Yeah, just you know, disrespected by you. <laughs> just, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I know who's gonna up. be disrespecting you around here. Oh, that's a good pass. There's Zach. Oh, 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 no. Pass breakup. He dropped the money. Oh, my goodness. That's tough right now. That would have been six up. points for level 82. Game would have been over right down. now. Like a lot Give him out, Ghost. Can't be game over, man. It's 13 minutes left. Ah, man. I guess that's why he played DB, right? Huh? <laughs> they own it. They own it. They, they own it. I, I think bro. so. <laughs> man, that's crazy. That's what they say, though. If you, if you ain't got hands for a wide receiver, you're going to be playing DB. Blitz. Oh, that's a good pass. Trying to find the guy. He hits that sample. 
But they're going to be short. It's going to be a over stop. On down to level eight. Going down. That was a blitz. That was a blitz. To start this game. Yeah, man. They love a good comeback. They do love a good comeback. They also love starting, like, really, really slow. That's, <laughs> and, I think that's no the, more the money drives. Y'all can put them balls away. Money ball <laughs> drives. A lot of people are asking, where <laughs> is this? Some people in California. We're at the Golden West Perfect. College in California, Huntington Beach, Number California. Totally free forward. if you're around. Come pull up. Tell First your friends. Guy. Tell your family. Tell your grandma. Did you just get a drop on this time? What? This you man just, just gave the drop on us, us the, You just gave the drop on us? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Karen got ops to, out here, man. Come on now. Yeah. You know you're supposed to gatekeep. <laughs> I had the most amazing crazy. sandwich this morning, and I'm not telling y'all at all where it was at. <laughs> you guys can come see destroying. <laughs> He's living at this. No, I'm going to get no donuts this game. Speaking of donuts, I had the most amazing donut I've ever had in my entire life, and I'm not going to tell you where it's at. I love doing it. A donut? Yeah, no, it was a good donut. You won't tell me where? No. Okay. I had a good sandwich, too. Okay. Actually, no, I'll tell you where the sandwich was from. It's from Subway. Ooh. Banging sandwich. I'm trying to get that for lunch, for sure. No, for Nothing sure. like a good Subway sandwich, man. Love me a good Meatball, sandwich. mozzarella. Yeah, you favorites. guys talking okay. about meatballs was pretty shocking. Look, I'm very old school Italian. I only eat my mom's meatballs, but I'll, ah. eat, anything. I'll eat anything else from uh, from Subway. Oh, so he's he's trying, to field. Field. trying to find his guy. Oh, that's going to be a flag. They don't call one of those. That's the one no flag. That's oh, incomplete. Oh, Ain't nothing on that. Wow. That's clean, man. That's clean right there. <laughs> That's that, clean. Yeah, okay. That was, that was an interesting one. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> well, let's look at the replay here. Gavin Sidwar taking a deep shot. I thought wide receivers try to come back to the ball here. And he got hit with a knee in the chest, but I guess that's not it. <laughs> it's okay. all good, man. No blood, no foul. I, I get it. I get Third it. Down. No, right. hey. But I guarantee you, someone's lined up two inches offside. They call him that one, bro. Hey, we got Padded Room Sports talking here, the biggest level 82 fan I think I've ever seen. Shout out to Padded. That's probably the little kids. Yeah, that's probably that's where the little kids are. Another deep shot for Silwar. Oh! And for pressure. Wow. That's what they needed to get back in the Come game on, right here. Come on, Come on. 11 minutes on the clock. Pressure gets on the board with three points there for that interception. Nice little play. Let's see the replay here. Defense stands up with a pick in the end zone. That's LaRon Deuce. Gets his foot inbounds. That's an interception. I love that he threw the ball a million miles in the air down 16 to two. That was, uh, I, you know, I like it. No, I love it. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta go out there and do it, man. I agree. That's why, that's Ten minutes and 30 seconds flat. left in this game. The score is now level 82, 16. Yep, Pressure trying to see if they can get it going right now. Deuce Knight, very talented quarterback in the class of 2025. Want to see if he can get things going here. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, I'm trying to. How did Deke get him? He, he's based in Mississippi. He is based in Mississippi. He played. So I think he played for Heat. We yeah, saw him before Heat, yeah. um, in, in the in the Florida division. Oh, tough hit there. And Zach Sample, I wish I saw that amount of dog in him when he was getting dunked on, but you know. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, but man, man, Deuce, nice is, Deuce is good. They don't have KJ Lacey, who was their quarterback in the last divisional, but Deuce is a good, uh, a good replacement. I would say. Deuce. Also, I want to say this: Snipe. Deuce is a left-hander. Is he? Is he your favorite quarterback here at OT7? I'm not sure. I'm with, uh, I'm with Aron right now, bro. That's an amazing pick right there, bro. Hey, you had to keep your eyes on that for a little bit, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I knew it was coming though, because when they, that's all they threw the ball to. So when he came over there, I was like, hell yeah, it's my time. Let's get right. That's a big time pick. Y'all needed that. Y'all need some points on the board. What y'all got to do to get this W? Unfortunately, since your coaches and the staff, y'all got to target on your back every time y'all play. Is that something y'all talk about? Oh, yeah, every day. Every day, because we know we got destroying. AJ, everybody want to beat us. But we just got to lock in on offense, and we going to win this game. Five yards back, still first. Hey, lock in, my boy. All right, bet. Hey, that's, a, that's an amazing pick right there. Kept his eyes on the ball the entire time. I used to do that back in Pop Warner. <laughs> you love talking about Pop Warner football. Bro, that was my prom, bro. Man, I'll tell you what. Pop Warner football. I used to be. Yeah, we're, I yeah, was, were you I two was down not back? a three down back in Pop Warner. I had a bigger role. Next sample looking for the corner. Doesn't find it, but he will pick up the first now for pressure. Eight minutes on the clock. Got to get it going here, though. You need a Indeed score. You move. need another stop. Both Second money balls goal. are out. Yep. So, got to get it going here. 
D looks a little stressed down there on the field. He does look a little stressed. This is team, this is team bro. He put a lot into this. Deuce Knight looking for a guy with a middle. Wide Touchdown. Open. Oh, we got a penalty. There is a flag, flag on the play, play, though. I think okay. it might have been it's a hold defense. over there. It was on the defense. Touchdown for pressure. Defense of holding is the call of the good field. play. That the was Cameron Emory out. So that means touchdown. Mobile, Alabama. Line, folks, See, that's a third down running back. Team 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 back by seen one, baby. Team-yard line. Team-yard line. Right here. Big fella. Big fella. And I believe they're going for the one-point gamble right now. So they're going to try to cut this deficit down to five. They score. Which I'm not sure I follow. I'm not sure I follow. Look, man, the math ain't math, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, because then if you don't, yeah, I don't, I don't get this one. I'm not gonna lie, Coach OTB, I don't really get this one. Because if you if you don't get this right now, it's a seven point game. There he is, and you don't. Oh my gosh, why did they do that? Pass hey, uh, hey, Snipe, can we can we ask D why we why we just went for the one point, point gamble right there? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually about to ask him right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would not make much sense. You know, hey, look though, uh, we're about to figure it out. To I, I gotta ask you about what he's doing. What is that whole one point gamble idea, bro? Momentum, we gotta get rolling on offense, bro. Gives us another chance to do our thing. When I walked up on you, it looked like, you know what I'm saying, you was about to take your aggressions out on the ref. What's going on with you, bro? Flag, these flags going crazy right now. I ain't never seen as much flags in the whole tournament, boy. And we got like 6-1 game right now. And I thought he called that last one on us, but he called on the team, so. I got to be honest, I think y'all like comeback games. Y'all always start off behind, come back for big games. Is that is that what y'all built for? We do what we got to do, you know. Y'all play better when the pressure. pressure. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's pressure for a reason. Come on, man. Hey, hey, I'm going to let you do your thing, my brother. Amazing glasses, by the way. <laughs> no problem, my brother. Back to y'all. Why did they take the point away? Shout out to I'm D Strong. And also, guys, make sure you guys don't miss Saturday. We have the Adidas Throwdown, the skills competition between all these guys out here. And we are ending the day that day with these one on ones with some of the best players out here. It's going to be a great time. That's going on Saturday. I believe we start at 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm oh, sorry, 3 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, we start at 3 p.m. Pacific on Saturday. And, and always remember, guys, if you want to follow Destroying, to keep up what he got going on, Sniper Jones on all <laughs> socials, <laughs> spread across all of them. Gotta make sure. Yeah, just in case you want to, you want to check in the old, the old zero for being technical. Um, just make sure you, you know, you stay tapped in everything he's got going on with Team Pressure. I don't know why we don't have a big graphic across the whole entire screen that says <laughs> at Sniper Jones. I think we're gonna learn a lot about pressure today, though. Here, fellas, I'm not gonna lie. You got the the OT7 North Divisional champs that they're playing right now. Hey, 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 That's hey, a false happy start. Feet. It's some happy feet. That's a false hey, start. Hey, 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 the hey, Reds hey, got it right this time. If that a false start, so that's going to be pressure ball. That's two points and it's pressure ball. We'll see what the official call is. They, they, they creeping back in. Let me see. And they're right back in the game. Man, hey, pressure just likes making it hard for themselves early on in the game, but this is going to be a 16 to 11 game. Hey, 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 Kurt. T. Smith. Don't think they should have went for the one-point gamble. It would have helped them, ball. but hey, it's still a winnable hey, game. All they're saying is still their ball. Loss, repeat the down. Repeat it. No, it's yeah. replay the down with a five-yard loss on a false start. That's true. No, you did it. No, you did it. It's always a replay, coach. Always. Interesting. So level 82 is going to get the ball here. They're going to have another ball shot on this third down, but I will say this. Pressure does have a blitz left. Offense you use it right here. Possession. Yes. Third yeah, I think down. you use a blitz right here. <laughs> Hey, that's an offensive penalty. There's no blitz. You're good. You're good. Offensive penalty, no blitz. So they still have their blitz. Left in this game. I think they, they need the ball back. They got to They, they got to get the ball back. I think they're bringing another one right here. They will be blitzing. Gavin oh, Sigler. Wabba, wabba, wabba. Is that another false start? They call in so many false so starts is, is insane. The the guy's already crossing it. Bro, what is happening? This guy over here took off. It's he like still arena had the ball football out the here. It's a penalty flag on the field. Man, five yard, another five-yard five penalty five here for, for the the level, eight. level 82 is crumbling right now. This hey, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Let me line up with the ref real quick to see what they see. I got to make sure. Let me line up with the ref, bro. These are some really tough calls, man. I'm like, hey, I'm beside the ref right now. I'm trying to get a bird's eye view of what's happening down here. These officials are very involved in these games. I'll say that much. All right, here we go. Let's see if anyone jumps. I don't know. Oh, Nobody jumps on that one. Throw to Chance Wiggins. Oh, you almost caught that. Anything Anything on the play? No flag on the play. It's no going to be a stop for pressure. No flag. 16 to 11 ball That's game after all of that. Pass. And Turn just like that, down, man, chat, it didn't look good, but it, hey. It took a minute. It took a minute. It took a minute. But pressure has a chance to go down the field and take the lead right here. Seconds left on this, left in this game. They didn't do it the easy way. They even My took the, sweating, bro. the one point game that they didn't need. They are right back in the game. Chance Wiggins been very quiet today, but he does have more days to go out here and perform. Bro, I think I think what's happening is, bro, 
every team has a whiteboard in the locker room and, and they say how to beat level 82. And the whiteboard is complete with Chance Wiggins. And, and, I, and I think that's what they see. Bro. Honestly, I think that might be the, the, the case. They lined him up. He got a one-on-one -on -one right there. <laughs> but, hey, that might just be what it is. You ever seen Fresh Prince when they were trying to figure out what they're going to do? Like, pass the ball to Will. Like, that's the only play they had. That's <laughs> yes. exactly. People are very, the, the chat's very upset that the clock isn't stopping more often. Uh, yeah. Talk to the clock operator. Yeah, that's not me. And uh, they also want to know the records of everyone today. So, right now, pressure is 0-0. Zero zero. This is their first this is their game. first game. And level 82 is one and one. One and one. Yep. Level 82 is one on one. This is their last game of the day. Pressure, this is their first game of the day. They are also going to be facing against the Legends and Midwest Boom. We'll bring both of those games for you, I believe, at I think at three. At three. So yep. in like 30 minutes. We, so we have one, one more game. One, yeah, one game in between. It's going to be Team Toa. So we get to see Madden out here again playing against California Power next. And guys, it's going to be a good day, man. It's going to be a really good day. We also have some huge matchups uh, tomorrow as well. It's also a great day for a Subway sandwich. Watch down some Gatorade. Yep. Cool. You got one more well, I already ate my up. Snickers, so I'm in good shape. Did you do that while wearing Adidas? There's I Deuce Knight taking oh, off, man. The kid's got some speed to him. They only get two runs, though, right? Is that the last run? Last they, that run. is their last run. They only get two runs. Level 82 has not used any of theirs yet. But goal. Pressure. That's going to be a first down and goal for, for hey, pressure. Ken, I don't know. How do you feel about him you using those runs back to back like that? You might need him for a blitz or something like Look, that, bro. You, if, if D's saying what D was saying, it's about momentum right now. They went for that They went for that one-point gamble because they want more momentum on offense. You need to score right here no matter what, so I'm okay with using both those runs. They on got top two of that, areas. Right, it's, it's only two minutes left. Left, so they might not even be in a situation where they got a ball on offense again and need to get out of a blitz. So exactly, right. yeah, and they just got to an area where they can't run anyway. So I, I, I like the idea of, of running there. Coach Care Bear Karen, everybody Knight. rolling outside. Doesn't see his guy. Oh, he finds a play. Clock ran out. It's a sack. It's gonna be second down for pressure. Tough, sack, Tough sack to take right the there. Clock going fast too, man. The clock is going fast. Key thing is here though, they can move. They can move Deuce Knight around. They can call some of their best plays because level 82 does. Doesn't have a blitz right now. They use both of their down. blitzes yep. already in this game. Ah, come on, Ken. Hey, drop them jewels. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a real football connoisseur. What come can on, I say? Man. Hey, Karen, you'd, you'd appreciate this. Overtime cone in the production truck. He says Deuce Knight is a lefty Vince Young. Ooh, that's that's crazy. That's I, I mean, I would hey. I love me some Vince Young. I wanted to bring Vince Young out here. And another sack there. Third oh, down. Third another down. sack. So right here, Coach OTB is the one calling the plays play. third down. For some big, reason, big, team big, pressure big, always down. has this happen to them. It comes down to the last game. minute, last Pressure's play, score. last down. Every Pressure's single time Pressure's team pressure Pressure's plays. You got to love it. <laughs> hey, they name pressure for a reason. <laughs> exactly. They love this. They're bro. so stressful. There is a lot of pressure right here on this down. Third down, everything matters right here. Deuce Knight, can he find a guy in the end zone? Because they need to get this one right here. Just Take the lead. Sambo says, where is destroying when you need him? Dude's not, he's got a guy wide open in the middle. There oh, he oh. got it. That's touchdown. What? And it was, oh, it might have been intercepted. Oh, oh how are they going to call that? What just happened? Come here. Come what just here. happened? I mean, they tackled him. I got to get in there. I got to get in there. I got to get in here. Back out. Back out. The last play is under review. Back out. 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 Back on, on Dwayne Jerome Harris. Dwayne Jerome Harris was wide open over the middle. You saw probably a split second too late. It seemed like he caught the ball, but then that seems like, like he just took the ball right from him. I'm not sure. We're going to peep a replay right now. Everyone in the chat is saying touchdown. Got to be a touchdown, says B.E. Platton. Here's Dwayne Jerome Harris. That's a touchdown. Ah, I don't know, though. He got his hand in. He got his hand in, though. He caught it. He was already across the line. He didn't maintain. That would be a touchdown. But he didn't maintain. All the way through. Hold, oh, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He had it and he crossed was, up the pain. I know he was in the end zone. I, I got that sight. Yes. Did he catch the ball? The answer is he I caught the ball the across the ball. the ball. He caught the ball. Did he come down? He came down. And then, zone. so he had it by himself. And then, did, did they come in next and pull out? 
No, it was simultaneous. Or it was all simultaneous. It okay. seems Ooh, like the that's John. The yeah, the ball's the moving ball's right out, there. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's out of his hands. Out of the, yeah, that's 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 incomplete. Incomplete pass. Because that punch goes through. That punch goes through, so punch goes through right there. I mean, you pass. see Gabe pinches. But is that a penalty the ball with for punching him in the face? Down. Nah, he didn't punch him in the face. He punched the ball out. That's all good. It's football. I don't know. It's it's the like, chat, the whole chat saying TD. I don't pass. know, man. The chat is going to break. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. Gonna break. Hey, hey it's, it, it's tough. I heard, I heard the refs. Uh, a lot of refs said that they caught the ball at the same time. Yeah. They're calling that one incomplete. We have a flag on the play. Man. Level 82 gets two points for the defensive stop and the ball with 48 seconds left. Um, Pressure. They find a way to do it every single defense. game. They, they are also going to win this game. <laughs> Bro, the chat is not happy. Chat, I think if you comment TD enough, they might overturn it. So keep hey, it going. Crazy. Keep commenting <laughs> hey, This is funny. I need to pay going, raise to deal with going, that one Keep coach. going. Keep going. I'm about to retire after this game. 48 seconds I didn't see D in the <laughs> huddle down, trying to get the – I think if the D, if D slipped the refs, I don't know, like a 50. Yeah, he's got – D's got high. it, man. D just need to take it off that chain and give it to someone. Oh, oh, that's that's that. Why are they doing? Oh my goodness! Why would they do that? I don't that's know what crazy. he's doing right there. Oh my God! The chat is exploding. Almost intercepted there. That was crazy. They're saying this is rigged. Time out! Time out! Time out! I mean, hey, if it was rigged, then I think that there would have been an interception there. That's pretty crazy. We're rigging it for pressure. We're trying to rig it for pressure. <laughs> Man, people hey, are go, not happy. It's, it's set, it's Pressure set, has another timeout, I yeah. believe. Pressure has another timeout. Oh, they use oh, their Yeah, they just use their timeout to stop the clock. I don't know I thought they had two. Coach OTB passionate on the sideline right now. Refs are bugging. Touchdown. Rigged. This is rigged AF. Rigged Second AF. Down. Rigged. I'm, okay. <laughs> rigged, rigged, rigged. TD, TD, TD. WTF, WTF. We need a pick. Yeah. He's tagged, he's tagged. It always goes straight Leashing to rig. Over the middle. <laughs> that's going to be it, right? There's no in-between. <laughs> I believe that's a first down for level 82. That's going to be game. First down. I think they need to run Ten another play. Left in the game. Look, but I guess Torrey Smith is trying to run another play for whatever reason. They got eight seconds. He almost got that thing picked off in the end zone. He better chill. Another false start. Jesus. Flag on the Ball play. Game. Another. Ball game. That's another false start, but that's going to be the game. False Pressure time. goes down to level 82. I feel bad the OT7 for the chat. North Division no champs start off day one in pool play, two and one. We have more games from Group One coming up a little bit later. And with Unfortunate that penalty, lost there for pressure. But you, you will see them two more times. They're playing Legends. They're playing Midwest Boom as yep. well. But hey, don't comment, go anywhere. Comment L in the chat for the reps. Comment, yeah, comment, L, in comment L in the chat for the reps. L in the L, chat. L reps. L reps for sure. <laughs> Even though they made the right call. We got Team Toa, Madney Yamaliyama facing off against California Power, defending home turf coming up next, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're going to hear from Destroy here pretty soon as well. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. knows how to party. We are here in Huntington Beach, California, Los Angeles area for the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are here for pool play. It is day one. It's going to be a super exciting weekend where we crown an OT7 champion, and I cannot wait for this next game. We got destroyed team pressure facing off against the legends. We got, we got Overtime Tom here, ready to box me. And I'm your, I'm your guy on play by play, Care Bear Kieran. How are we doing today? This game is going to be exciting. We got 22 minutes on the yep. clock. Team pressure and facing off against the I'm so excited to see what these teams are doing here today. Can they come back from the loss that they had earlier? Today? I got great news here. Neither of these teams have won a game, so someone's getting their first win. Today. Somebody is now definitely getting their first win. They are a combined 0-3 like right it. now, but Team Pressure has two games remaining. They can still end with a winning record today. Look, bro, Pressure played earlier. A lot of people are saying that they got screwed by the refs. I'm here to report that if the refs mess them up again, I'm going to fight all of them. Oh, oh we're good. Well, I mean, hey, yeah, I'm hey, beat hey, this hey, shit. I know, I'm, I know we're I know we representing <laughs> overtime <laughs> boxing, but calm down, bro. Wow. Sorry, yeah, it's got hyped about overtime boxing. I'll, overtime I'll, boxing. Chill, I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll chill. Overtime boxing did just start. I guess we're just going to get get it going with the uh, matches against all these refs. That's right. Yeah. Barn uh -huh, competitions uh -huh. coming up soon. Fuck you, they got Let's the headgear out here. There we go. Pick up to Jarrett Gibson over the middle. Oh, you mentioned earlier, out. man, the legends are 0 2. What's been going on with them? Because they've usually been dominant I, in pool play. They have dominated in pool play. They lost their first game ever in pool play in the first game that we had here today. And now they're 0 2, possibly looking at 0 3 right now, which yep. is absolutely absurd to think about. But 
I don't know. I think they just they don't have the same swagger that they do on the East Coast. Maybe it's the flight over their base in Tampa. I'm not sure. I like that they start with the ball here. They're already driving. I think it all starts with offense for them, right? Like they've been the offensive powerhouse in all these divisionals. So if they can score here, I, I like them early on. But they just not working. It's not. It's not seeming the same. That's a sack a there for team pressure. <laughs> it's gonna be. I don't. I don't understand oh using the, the the blitz early on. Or I'm sorry, not not the blitz. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it was. What, it was early. We saw it was a couple of teams using the blitz on like second down, first second down. <laughs> Look, pressure does do very That's unorthodox right. coaching things. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. Got absolutely. a little lost there. I'm switching the papers on our desk, but no. no actually, the thing zone. that I was con confused about earlier in the game, pressure, right? Yeah. Going for the for, going for the one point gamble when yeah, I, I made feel like no he didn't need to. I just didn't really make oh, sense oh, to me. Oh, oh. Wow. I mean, shoving him. That was third down. Third down. An incomplete pass here. We got a third down here. Here's where you use your blitz if your team pressure. That's what I was trying to get across. Sorry, chat. Hey, what, what do we think about the uniforms out here on the field, fellas? I will say this. We have seen this pressure uniform like five yeah. times before, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not too impressed. But yeah. according to D, according to Coach OTB, they got some more uniforms really? in store. They got some, they got some surprises for us. I've been us, waiting so. for something new to come out because Excited everyone kind of showed up with the same stuff. They've had this one since Orlando. They had this one in Orlando. Oh, oh, the oh. quick blitz. Got him down, and that's, that's going to be a down. turnover on Incomplete. down. Come on, Team man. pressure. Let's go. They get a 2 0 lead early. Let's get it. Up. Pressure up early. Let's get it. I, I don't even know if that's been. Has is that, that ever happened? I don't think I've ever said those said. words before. <laughs> Pressure up early. I don't think that's ever been a thing. <laughs> Pressure, Pressure lead on the board first. Yeah. So, the if you guys have two, are just now joining us, I'll explain to you guys the scoring here at OT7. Touchdown gets you seven points. We also have what is called the one-point gamble. If you get that successfully after scoring your touchdown, you're rewarded with eight points for that drive. If you fail, though, you only get six points for that drive. Also, we have the money drive. You score a touchdown on that drive, you get 10 points. And the cool thing about OT7 line, is every drive, like you said, line, ends at some points. So, so cool. defensively, if you get a stop on a normal drive, it's two points. If you get an interception, it's three. And on the money drive, everything is doubled. So if you get a stop, yep. four points, and you get six points for an interception on that money drive. Hey, get the that. T in the middle. Put the T in the middle I think of the hash. Maybe on Sunday, fellas, every possession is a way. money drive. This way, I, this hey, way. maybe that might just we be just the thing. With the money ball. <laughs> just just, just straight more. money drive. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just the same game. Just so every just, yeah, just higher. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just the same game higher. That's all it matters. Deuce Knight here at quarterback, like we talked about in the first Ooh, that game. Is oh, that is a dot. Nice ball. That is a dot. Wow. Good play down yeah. field. Wait, that was a great that little first down. Goal. Like a little rush. Yeah, that was great. Zach Sample out there with the swag. He's got the ASU gloves on. Committed to Arizona State University. Beautiful. Best wide receiver coach in the country. I, I, you know gotta, what I, mean? I had I to shout out my guy, Rashad Sample. Love him. Shout out to him. You Deuce Knight, the lefty from Mississippi Heat, who, tra who changed over here. Coming over Come pressure on, for the OTC Championship. Man. Absolute ball, laser bro. right in. Right in the window. Great. That was oh. a beautiful ball, man. I, I got the opportunity to see it from the That's most perfect at. angle. And I got to say, it was some heat on it, but he put just enough on it to get to him quick. Pressure coming out swinging early. Deuce Knight looking for his guy. Zach Sample over the middle as well. There we go. He's going to get a couple Coach. of yards Master's on that lead. one. He's going to have a second down second and goal, goal here for Look, pressure. Other way, other way, kid. I love the fact other that way. him dunking on him doesn't interfere Coach. with Coach. the chemistry on field, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it shouldn't. <laughs> That is pretty crazy, though. Yeah, you got to bring that up one more yeah, time. Yeah, you want to remind me, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, remind me yeah, what happened? You know, so it's interesting that they have a good connection on the field because uh, Deuce ended up yamming on him uh, the other day when yeah, they were the, playing the, team, the teams got to California early yesterday. They were playing some basketball, and Deuce Knight decided to uh, dunk all over good his team. Good read, good read, good read. Touchdown! Easy touchdown there for Deuce Knight. Finds his guy over the middle, Dwayne Jerome Harris. Bring it back. And they get a touchdown on that one, chat. I know you guys were upset last time those two connected for what looked like a touchdown, but you know, we got a touchdown here. The legends. Okay, we're back out here. It's pool play, baby. Legends are gonna get the ball back here. Legends are gonna take over on downs. Got the quarterback Terry heading back there. I also have another quarterback here. We haven't seen him much though. His name is Cornelius. Cornelius. Yes, yes, yes. My favorite name. We have not seen him at all. And I'm kind of surprised because the legends, I mean, I do like that they're sticking with, with their guy because I love Terry, but they've been struggling I mean, a little bit. I'm surprised they haven't made, you know, switched it up. Hey. There you go. This guy over the middle. Hey, hey I need more energy from D on the sideline, man. I do need a little more energy. He's, D, D is very quiet. He's just kind of chilling right now. 
I think he's trying to delegate the coaching opportunities to Coach OTB. OTB has a very, very full plate right now. He's calling plays and he's calling defense. He's head coaching everything right now. But, 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 I, and I wasn't going to sell him nothing fake because they don't make promises. But because we I got a poll going on in the chat right now. Who's going to win, Pressure or Legends? We got 96% of the group pressure. saying Pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Deep, Deep shot, shot there for the Legends. Eight. Oh, almost intercepted. Yeah, that's broken up in the game zone. zone. Zombo said we got to come to North Carolina. T Bates said we got to go to Buffalo. Buffalo? Nah. If you think you're going to catch me in Buffalo, New York, um, outside, yeah. you're out of your mind. I'll be inside. I'll try some of the chicken wings out there. You know, I, I love chicken wings. I just need to get on the board. Yeah, I love me some chicken wings. Mitchell oh, Fer uh, Farrell wants to know which yeah. team did Deuce come from. He played for the Mississippi Heat, who are not uh, – they didn't make it to the OT7 championship, so he uh, he joined pressure. Joined pressure. I, I, hey, guys, I got Dwayne with me right now, man. That's a tough I, touchdown, my boy. Talk to me about that. What went on? It looked like you got hit. Did he try to tackle you? What happened? Uh, I don't know what they on. Like, they've been trying to tackle this whole time, but Deuce told me to get busy, so I got busy. Let me ask you this. I just came <laughs> off a very tough loss. Controversial. You think it was a catch or you think it was a little? Let me know. Huh? Be, keep it a bean. Don't, don't be biased, bro. Ain't caught no catch. It ain't no catch. That's last game. We right here, though. So y'all locked in. Y'all on, on something else. See level 82 tomorrow. So what y'all got to do to get this W, though? Because I don't want y'all to take two, two. Lock in. We about to lock in. We about to get this dub right here. Say less. Lock in, bro. See, that's a sign hey, of a bought-in team, they man. Focus. That's a sign of a bought-in team. They said that's the last game. We not worried about that. That's Coach, e that's Coach OTB written all over it, man. It's last game. They're not worried about that. Up nine right now, started off this game right. And this is what they were supposed to do to the Legends, man. They came out prepared, like I said, Snipe. Come on, man. I called it. I told you. If they were serious about winning this weekend, they got to show up in this game. Hey, how many Snickers did Karen eat, bro? Hey, I'm too much sugar going on up there, bro. I want my boys' team to, to, to do well, bro. I want these team to do well, you know? They're doing, they're doing their thing right now, though, too. Defensively, they got to keep getting these stops, though, because the Legends have just not looked like themselves. This is I want to know why, though, man. I, I got to talk to Coach, ask him, you know, what's the recent struggles with pool play? They never had it before. It got to be a reason, man. It was our Carl Lewis over the middle. They will pick up a first down there. That's complete. The Legends are on the move. It's going to be a first down and goal for the Legends there. Cool little concept. Yeah, no, like like you were saying, Snipe, I do want to know what, what's going on with the uh, with the Legends right now. They they don't seem like the same team that they have been in the past. Yep. But, you know, it's it's pool play. I mean, are we are we being too hard on them? Do they deserve some grace? I, I mean, think we it's are. very hard to just try to keep that up every time. Touchdown there for them. Oh, 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 he might have lost it. I think he had to it. Though. He had to it. That's a touchdown there for the Legends. They're back in this game. Destroying this thing. That's what happened to them when they dropped the ball. That's They're very upset right game, now. Fam. There's a the conference in the end zone. What are they talking about? They wanted oh, to be they're yelling at these refs. The refs? The refs are huddled up See, right so now. The I, don't, I don't even want to look at the chat right now. <laughs> it is what happened to y'all. I don't want to look at the chat right now. Ain't that what happened to us last game? It is what happened to y'all last game. And what they counted? It wasn't yeah. touchdown, right? Yes, it was complete. Let's see. Let's let's let the zebras deliver. But I don't, I know, I don't know if they have somebody else to look like they caught the ball, though. I think I think he just dropped it, right? It don't matter. Right Either way, it's a he drop catches it. True. It's true. Oh, I, see what they I don't know. I, I don't see what know. they say. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. To be that might, yeah, they might They might have a case there. So I want to run over to the rest real quick oh, just man. to see what they say. So, look, th this is the rule, right? If he has right, possession. I think it's a touchdown. Okay, I think it's a touchdown, though, because look, look. Gotcha. If you have possession of the ball when you cross that line, once you cross the plane, it doesn't matter. It's the same way in the NFL where you can reach across the line they're and they're not going to have your hand right as long as you have possession of it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm with y'all. That's, 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 that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. See, you know. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. We're going to get it right for the kids. Yeah, come on, man. We together. Yeah, yeah. We can. Look at Snipe being all buddy buddy with the refs. Such a bum. That's a touchdown. We're waiting on the review All right, right now. Here. Singing. They call it a touchdown. They call it a touchdown. Yeah. They call it a touchdown. Yeah. Call it a touchdown. And, and I will say this too. I'm sorry. I got to play devil's advocate. The last time it wasn't the same thing. He caught the ball. Yeah, he caught the ball. different. But he, it, like he didn't gain full pressure. possession of it. Like the hand came in and then there was like the ball was Seven. moving as soon as he caught it. So in this case, the ball only moved left in this game. after he had possession of it already. Stop. Whenever the dude came in. Here we go. Yeah, no, this, this wasn't close. The whole chat saying incomplete. We got some people saying definitely a TD. It's a TD, guys. Like, it's it's okay. I love the chat so much. <laughs> oh! Can we check and see who, who the chat is subscribed to? <laughs>
just, 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 just play devil's advocate. What, what do you want me to ask, Snipe? Let's ask the chat whose videos do they watch often, and then I think it's a good idea why. Hey, by the way, we got some great games going on right now. We're in, we're in pool one, um, and it's been awesome. But hey, we got we got a group two coming up a little bit later. We got one more game, Pressure vs. Midwest Boom, right after this one, and then we're gonna take a little break. And at 5:20 Pacific, we're gonna get a whole other group of teams coming in. Trillion Boys, SFE, my favorite, Low Pro, who's won a couple of divisionals, 24K, Raw Miami, and DefCon. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Coming up later on, we got group two, and honestly, I think group two is a little stronger than group one. It, I think they have I think they have a wider variety of, of, of very talented teams. Yeah, when you think about Low Pro, DEFCON, SFE, Raw, I mean those are all teams that you know, I feel really good about. So yeah. and the winner and fun thing is too, the winner of both of these groups gets a first round bye in bracket play. So we'll see. We will see what happens. But man, Deuce Knight right now has been picking the legends apart. Hey, also, I want to give a big shout-out to Designer, um, Herc, who's in the comments. He said he just got his first kiss today. That's, I mean, that's, 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 that's W-Mans. Yes, mans Just want to give a big shout-out. That's tough. You remember your first kiss? Um, Yeah, I was a senior in high school. Damn. Yeah, Mom was, was like a uh, week ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just a late bloomer. Yeah, no, nah, I late was, bloomer. Yeah. You're good, I was, you're good. You know, black on the play. good. People don't like the guy uh, making videos oh, and such. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway, uh, back. there's <laughs> a, flag a flag on the play. Deuce Knight. We got a flag on the amazing. play and a flag in the broadcast. Booth. Yeah. <laughs> a big old red one. Over here. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, Deuce Knight. I'm not sure if I like the uh, the Vince Young comparison, but he is playing. He's pretty electric right now. Okay. He is looking Someone pretty says, "Where's Tucson Turf?" I'm not gonna lie. I was on the committee picking teams to make this. They were one yeah. of the la they were one of the I don't, first I think, teams out. Yeah, it was yeah. one of the first teams out. I think Tucson Turf would have made it had they played in more divisions. Yeah. They, they just played at home so, and they played really well, made it yep. to a championship, yeah, but they they didn't play in any more divisionals. And then all of these other teams, they yeah, really really lead. performed. Yep. I think it was like them or Toa were right there on the bubble, right? Because yes. like Toa was like <laughs> only played in that one, but made championship. Yeah, 24K and boom were over there, too. Yeah. Let's see, Deuce Knight here in the red zone. Second down. Can he make something happen here? Over the middle. He's got a guy wide open. He missed Kyan Berry. Oh, and he threw it late. Ah, uh, that's tough. Ended up having a sack. He had him wide open. Kyan Berry's been kind of wide today. It's weird. All the wide receivers that, that came here that we expected a lot of. Chance Wiggins, Imerian yep. Stewart. Chance on the uh, Kyan Berry. They've all been kind of quiet today. Nine hey, I just want to give a big shout out to our guy, Dre. He just started working out with his brother. Uh, his brother, I forget his name, his brother, but his brother wanted me to give him a shout out. So shout out to uh, Trey for getting, getting some work in. Shout out to you, cool. Trey. He was Trey to trying Trey. to become a good oh, oh. defense right there. Deflected right there. That's a turnover on That's downs, and the defender, legends bro. Bro, at least have six tied six. this game with nine minutes remaining. I'm telling you guys, it's not, it's not the best performance for pressure right now. I know, but I think maybe it's just because Pressure loves playing close games. I feel like Pressure could play the Seattle Seahawks right now in the NFL. Like, yep. First down. You just know for a fact, Chad, that this game's going to come down to the last possession, and Pressure's going to have a chance to win it on offense. And we'll see. They're either going to get a last check <laughs> touchdown or a last second heartbreak. Yeah, bro, we'll they see. were up 9 0. Now it's not like nothing is easy with now, these They can guys. never make it easy. Hey, Pressure. You need Pressure. I think I think what, what makes oh. it tough is the fact that they made it that far to the end zone and weren't able to get nothing out of that. Yeah, you got to capitalize when you get right. that close. You got to be able to capitalize on those opportunities. You're 100 percent right. That's that's the pros of having a third down back. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm a little hungry too. Second and I saw Day just working down that Subway sandwich. I need that. I it looks so good, man. Bro, and then the broadcast, the production team shows Why us are Snickers. Snickers right now. Bro? <laughs> That's not what is right, going bro. On with like, I love Snickers, but we now I'm just hungry. Man. I have some Snickers right now. Yeah, here we do have some Snickers. Oh! Oh! There's a flag on the play. Flag, flag on the play. play. See what the call was. Oh, so That's that an interception what? there. Where's Where's the I don't believe that flag? dude's on the roster. Is he the bottom guy? False start. Gotta be. It is a pick. The pick counts. The pick counts. Oh, and they're going to his line. What an interception. A diving pick for pressure. And they take a lead. They're in the Invisalign booth. Look at those smiles. Everybody get a nice little cheese in. Shout out to Invisalign, the official smile of OT7. 
Did you come up with that or is that their thing? I don't know, I think that's, just, I don't know, that's so good. That's such a good one. It's so smile, good. You know? See, before Invisalign, my teeth looked like piano keys, you know? Now yeah. you gotta get them all straight. First yep. down. I'm looking prettier and prettier every day. It's easy, it, it makes you look good, I love it. Great pick. Zach Sample over the middle with the completion from the quarterback that dunked on him yesterday. First down for pressure. Pass complete. <laughs> He's going to keep bringing that up play. until I, I see him. <laughs> KJ's going to find that video and put it on the broadcast. I need, I need, I need everyone to see it just because it was nasty. It's going to be drastic. Yeah, yeah, the dunk was crazy. <laughs> KJ's in our ear telling him. I got to talk to Zach before we it. put that up there. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, dang. Sports <laughs> like Honda. Legends. Five yard penalty. First down. Deuce Knight moving up. Flag on the play was against the Legends. So now we've got better field position for pressure. Can they pull away here, man? We've seen everybody else pull away from, <laughs> from the Legends. I want to yep. see if pressure can too. Deuce Knight over the middle. Oh. Rocketed that one. I think he just lost that one, honestly. Yeah, I would say that's probably the worst pass we've seen today. Right, <laughs> hey, hey, Karen, I want somebody right now who got a lot of jewelry on. You got a lot of jewelry on, man. Talk to me. How you get the chain, bro? Man, acrobat pick on the slant, man. On the acrobat pick. You got to throw that in there. <laughs> acrobat. Come on, man. FSU commit. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I said, uh, 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 hold on. I got to get a visual of the chain real quick, man. I got to see you with the chain on. You also got the matching earrings, too. What, talk to me about the drip. What's up? Man, I ain't playing this. It just happened like that. <laughs> it just happened. I don't know. Y'all got to lock in, bro. Y'all got to win this game. Y'all lost the first one. You can bounce back. Let me know. What, what's the game plan? What, what's the vibe right now? I really, I was really on the defense. Oh! I, I say, uh, <laughs> Just incomplete. Oh, my God. Defense. On the tip, that was so close. Out, man. Oh, oh, the field. Field. Defense winning championships. That's what we got to do. Here we go. Lock in, bro. Good luck. Hey, I need, hey, hey, I tried to I tried to put on a chain. The chain is heavy, bro. It weighed down my neck. <laughs> That's a very heavy chain. Hey, man. You got to be ready. You I don't know how Mr. T moments. used to do it back in them days, man. Third See, down. A third down running back should Russia. be able to carry that chain. I don't my know, city brother. love oh, me like a college goodness. running back. <laughs> On, huh? That was crazy. Come on, man. That's, that's, a good on. that's a come on, man. That's a drizzy, man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> drop my pin in there. Here we go. Twelve to nine. Play clock is up. rolling. Pressure definitely, desperately needs a touchdown. Third here. down here. They don't need to. They don't need to get stopped right here. Five minutes. But honestly, this will be very pressure of them to have a very close game. Oh, he's out of there. Oh, he's out of there. Oh, 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 oh Play, bro. To the pit. To hey, the pit. Hey, Pressure hey, takes hey, the commanding hey, lead hey. in this game. I am a menace. I keep it right. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's tough. Honestly, the phone pit was really cozy today. The phone put the phone pit does look pretty good. Cool. 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 There's a flag on the with the money drive. There's a flag on the play. Hey, hey, I gotta holler at dudes, right? They were just, they were just really getting into it real quick with the defender. Hey, what, what did, what did he do? What, did, what was y'all just going back and forth about? Bro, dude, try to shake my hand. Are we playing each other, bro? I'm not finna talk. You not my friend or nothing. I don't even know who dude is. So he's trying to be your homie, like y'all, like y'all cool. Yeah, bro, when to shake my hand, I don't know who dude is. He sucks. I never heard him. I never seen him online or nothing. I don't know recruiting sites, nothing. So you just had a crazy touchdown, scrambled out, threw it on the run, out here looking like Vic. Talk to me about the play, bro. Uh, shoot, I was gonna run it. I ain't gonna lie. I seen Cayenne come open, so I just threw it. Hey, I'm gonna I'm, I'm tell him stay back from you, though. I got you. I'm gonna tell him to keep his distance. We got no offer, no stars. Tell him with me. I got Bama, Georgia, all that. And I see you dunking on people, too. What's up with that, bro? I know that best athlete, best quarterback, <laughs> best, most athletic quarterback in the nation, man. Say less, bro. Lock in, bro. He dunking. He throwing off the finish. Hey, he doing it all, bro. Scrambling. What can he do? <laughs> That was crazy. That was, that he was said, dude, they got no stars. He I don't said, know who he is. I never heard of him. He said, I never heard of him. He sucked. <laughs> that, was, that was wild. That's crazy disrespect. I'm not going to lie. Isaiah Williams with a big pickup right there. Gets the legends into the first and goal area. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm not going to lie. That was no, crazy. That was crazy. wild. I'm I'm you, he said, I've never heard of him. Dude, I ain't trying to be your friend, bro. Normally, the quarterbacks are the, are the chill ones. He, he's letting them hear it. 
So pretty much, if you ain't got at least three or four scholarships, you can't even dap me, bro. He said if you ain't got a Bama offer, don't even look at me, bro. What is, what is going on? What you reaching your hand out for? He didn't really want to talk to Snipe either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, until I showed him my Pop Warner record, he was all here. <laughs> when I showed him what I did in Pop Warner, bro, come on, man. Goodness gracious. Sniping his Pop Warner days is like that uncle that's just like I used to be. I'm telling you, bro, my prom was crazy, bro. We're gonna yeah. pull out that VHS. My nickname, my nickname was Jukum Jones. I was, Snipe, I was, I was Snipe, like, you need you some Jerusalem three sandals and and a and a, and, and a spare. Yeah. Oh, my name is Jukum Jones. I was the best running back in Pop Warner. Wow, third more. down here, man. It's kind of the ball game. It's gonna key. be ball game right here. They're on the money drive. If they yeah. score right here, they can tie the game. So once again, pressure in a situation where they need to stop here late in the game. The game. This this is the legend, so they are. Money drive. They do need to get the end zone here. They cannot run the ball here. Third and goal. pressure legend. also has the blitz remaining. So I think they're gonna go it right here. Thing is, with this blitz remaining, what? How do you use it? I just think he blitz everyone. They're bringing in Jared Gibson, the big running back, to kind of give it. Oh, he's got to throw it out. Oh, 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 oh. Pressure takes a big oh, lead now. Oh, 14. Oh, what a catch there from Jonah Williams. Got the invisible line smiles going crazy. Them boys Look locked in, man. man. Look in there smiling. Turn turn big old chain on, too. There hey, you go. Hey, bro, where you find that? I need to, <laughs> I need to get one of them. Nah. Get D down there. Word on the street is destroying about the whole team, one of them joints. I'm saying. Hey, you need to give me one, too. I'm going to ask him when I get him on the bridge, show. Pressure at least. Man, trillion boys just walked into the building, and they are blasting music behind us, brother. <laughs> this is Big Lee here for pressure. Trillion league, boys, you just said? Said trillion boys just all walked in behind That's us. <laughs> now they, they were blasting music. <laughs> I love it. Trying to let everybody know. They came in with a huge subwoofer. I don't know. It definitely came out here with something crazy. Let's see. So now pressure's going for a money drive. Which not nah, going for a money drive is like insult to injury, bro. Nah, nah, hey, they're trying to send the message. I get it. What is the message here, bro? Look at hey, Coach OTB letting, letting Deuce Knight here right now. I don't know what he's talking to him about, but he basically saying when a Pop Warner legend like Snipe is talking, bro, you lock in. <laughs> you, you don't you don't hey, you don't look around and see what's going on. You look him in his eyes, and I agree with Coach. Jukum Jones is what they call me. Jukum Jones. Oh, oh man. my goodness. Somebody yeah. stop. What happened to Legend? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm unaware. They have been they have been <laughs> every single time. Nine and two in the divisionals, killing teams. Hey, I went up to coach and I said, Hey, coach, you want to talk? Nah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Hell no. I, I completely understand why. I understand why. Damn. I did not see this coming. Yeah. I did not see it coming either. I, I thought in Group One that Legends was kind of the favorite. I, I completely agree. I completely agree. I think I think the legends, like, especially in pool play, they've just been dominant. I thought either them or Cali Power would have really like established themselves here, and I wanted to see what Toa would do. Cali Power came out really nice, but Legends, oh, that's gonna be a flag. There's a flag. Zach Sample trying to come back to the ball there would have been a crazy play. Precious got themselves some weapons though, man. Looks like fast interference. They down there talking to Kai and Barry Johnson. So, and that's, and that's gonna be game pressure with a dominant victory. It was close for a while, but a dominant victory. They came out swinging, got the victory done, 25 to nine. Guys, don't go anywhere because pressure is gonna be right back here on the same field. Next up, you're gonna see back-to-back -back pressure games. They're playing up against Midwest Boom next, who's actually had kind of an up and down day as well. So we'll see what happens. Midwest Boom pressure coming up next, guys. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. We are back. OT7 is having its championship here in sunny Los Angeles, California. It's OT7 championship presented Sir. by Adidas, baby. How could you miss it? We've had four divisionals all around the country, and we finally got the best 12 teams here. We split them into two. We got group one going right now playing in pool play, and we got our last 
game of the day for group one. We got D's destroying, or we got D's <laughs> destroying team pressure. Donald. Facing off against, Donald's <laughs> team pressure facing off against Midwest Boom. 22 minutes on the clock, let's get it. I'm Kieran, joined here by Tom. Big pick up there on first down. Off Man. Rip. Midwest that Boom shit. almost hits it. It's to the one yard line. I just I feel like he ran over, bro. I I him. Him. He's back. Ooh. I just feel like pressure, they just finished the game. It's kind of tough to start on defense after that. It is It is very tough to start on defense. Right after being in the pit, jumping and celebrating. Yeah. You know, they, they if you guys didn't miss it, like. <laughs> like it was, eight seconds ago. Yeah, it was like eight seconds ago. It was literally just, just eight seconds ago. Everybody's back. Pressure won via, via complete domination last time against, uh, against, against the Legends. Yeah. Yep. Just, the Legends hey, not a good too. day. 0 and 3 in pool play, which is just so absurd. For you them. got it. it. It makes no sense. And now we got pressure. They're one and one. Boom is one and one as well. Correct. I'm, I can Boom is, check that yeah, real Boom, quick. I believe Boom is one and one as well. You got Alessio well, Leo Vajic. I think I said his name right. So Boom, they lost the power 39 to nine. Not yep. great, but they beat Toa 22 to 11. They so did beat they did beat Toa early, early on. So they were one of Toa's uh, two losses goal. today. So yeah, a lot of weird scores out Good here. Call. Weird scores, man. It's 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 been an interesting day. Couple one on one one teams. Whoever wins this, they'll you know have a good record. <laughs> <laughs> they have a good record. <laughs> you look like you're going to sleep when break time. <laughs> so here we got Midwest Boom here on the goal line. Mm -hmm. Got a second down early on in this game. I think that is something like hard to come back from. Just playing, having a, the high of just blowing a team out to okay, you got a zero zero score against a new opponent. <laughs> Alessio finds his guy in the end zone. And here we go, Midwest another boom. slower Strike pressure first. start. I always <laughs> think it's hard to come out and play right after you just play the game, man. I know it's tough playing two back to back. They tired, and not to mention, bro, they put out a lot of energy, bro. All that taunting and jumping in the pit to get right back into a game. All that taunting. <laughs> come on, bro. Hey, we're going to see if they got what it takes, man, for two oh, back to back, but it's a tough change. challenge. So, uh, Snitch hey, another, KJ, um, our producer, he wanted to call his attention Pressure to the fact zero. that this wide receiver actually was out of bounds first and then down. he came inbounds. That's, a, that's an illegal touching, brother. That's, uh, that's, so that's that, not legal. That should not have counted, good. chat. Yeah, that really so, shouldn't have counted. Chat. L refs again. Yeah, L refs <laughs> and uh, KJ, good job, man. You won't do 25 to life anymore. That's Hey, there you go. Uh, L refs is crazy. KJ the feds, you know? That's what they're saying. KJ Streets is saying the that. feds. KJ yeah, the that police is, is what they're saying. Oh. Yeah, Streets are saying that. I don't know. Yeah. Streets is watching, man. They know KJ. Out there. <laughs> they know his name, man. Let's just say, hey, this, this spot where I'm wearing on my head right now, KJ been trying. <laughs> Speaking nah, of KJ, though. We um, love KJ. <laughs> speaking of KJ being federal and falling everything by the rules, <laughs> I might as well go ahead and explain the rules and scoring to you guys here as well. <laughs> so a touchdown, you will be rewarded with seven points on offense. But if you get stopped, the defense is rewarded with two points. Oh! And if you get an interception, you get three yeah, points, which is what Midwest Boom should have just had on that very poorly thrown <laughs> ball. Also, we have what Here is we called the money drive. If you score on a money drive, you get 10 points. If you get stopped on the money drive, oh. the defense gets four and your pick. The defense gets six points. We got the L refs back in the chat. The L refs are back in the chat. Thanks, KJ. No, yeah, KJ, <laughs> shout out to KJ. Shout out to KJ, he's doing a great job. Hey, you know what, shout out to you, man. You're doing a great job. I'm trying, man. Thanks. I'm trying. Thanks. I just loaded up on Snickers. I'm very hyper. Yeah. Very, very hyper right now. Everyone's you know? doing a really good job except Sniper. Yeah, no, I think it's, <laughs> a, it's the main thing. Come yeah. on, man. 10 seconds. Come on, man. <laughs> and the refs. And the refs, yeah, the refs, the refs need some Snickers. They're not themselves right now. And the legends. Balls away. Oh, yeah, the legends. Right now to give me money, Actually, bro. not that many people are doing a good job. Can you pass me a Snickers? Yeah, yeah sure, I got you, man. We got the we Snickers got right here. We do have the Snickers minis, man. They, it is so we got to come up here and get one, bro. Hey, I'm going to come by and grab one, bro. I'm starving. You got to get one of these. Ooh. I'm not myself. That's probably why I suck right now, bro. I'm not myself. I'm hungry. I need me some Snickers. I might go to the tent. Midwest Boom. Nah, tent. Unfortunately, that was a stop there for pressure. pressure. Zero. Nothing like seeing Tom Snickers. Right there. There. Demolishing yeah. Snickers. The There's a stop for, for the demolishing the Snickers. Midwest Boom just got a stop on pressure. They went quick three and out. Another slow start for them, but we know this team. We know what they can do. They'll probably be back, and we're talking about a last second Hail Mary touchdown. Alessio takes the sack right there before he finds his guy. Hey, you know what's cool about Lazy Snickers is like we have the big ones, mm -hmm. and I like crushing those. And then Second it's almost down. like the uh, the minis are like a, a new palate cleanser. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I just keep shifting back you and cleanse forth. Cleanse your palate from big <laughs> Snickers with the mini Snickers. Yes, and I go back to the big Snickers. Yeah, yeah, it's sense. great. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing like options, fellas. Ain't nothing like having options. Nothing amazing. like options. We got a lot, bro. <laughs> so who y'all got in this game, man? We got boom, I, pressure. It's going to be a tough one. Who I think, y'all got? I think pressure plays around too much early in games. Yeah. And I think one of these days, one of these days, a team is actually just going to take it to him. It hasn't happened. It's it's happened right now. wide open. Oh, I'm not sure if you got touched there, but I first 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 down. better than me. Baby, what? What? The first down there for Miles from a Scully. I think that's how you say his name. He is a bowling green commit out of Win Winneteca Winneka? Winneka, <laughs> Illinois. I'm sorry for everybody from Illinois. What, for just what state? Butchering that name. Illinois? <laughs> yeah, Illinois. Where is bowling Gr- bowling green located? That's in Ohio. Just, it's in Ohio, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. He Snipe our Ohio residential <laughs> a resident on, Ohio man. guy. Shout out Bowling Green. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Overtime DGU, Sammy. Man. He's in the chat right now. He made all the graphics for all this, so I want he's also he just moved to New York from New Zealand. That's dope. From down under. Yeah, no. <laughs> from down under. Got to love down under. My mate. Alessio finds this guy over the middle. That's going to be a first down and goal for Midwest yeah, Bulls. Is that an arm sleeve or an actual tattoo? Because there's no way that kid has a whole sleeve. Okay, it's, it's a sleeve. It's a sleeve. I was about to say. Yeah, it's a sleeve. I, if I, he had a full though. tattoo, like, sleeve right now at, like, what, 16 years old? I would have been like, bro, <laughs> somebody throw him the ball. And I watched the movie Shooting Stars. I did not know that LeBron got his king tattoo at 15. <laughs> Oh wow! I haven't so seen that movie. I gotta, I gotta check that out though. He got, he got it in his kitchen at, at 15 years old, and his mom came and like. Um, Bryce James, before. Bryce James got his first tattoo yesterday. It was his birthday. Wow! Happy birthday to Bryce James. What goes to the same high school? Well, did go to the same high school as Quasi Gilmer. Yeah. Sarah Canyon, but uh, Bryce left. Touchdown. Easy touchdown, touchdown there for Midwest Bowl miscommunication. Hey, yeah, Bryce is transferring to Campbell High School in California. I think LeBron donated like $100 million to make it the best high school in the world. Yeah. Wow. With 15 yeah, minutes like left in this game. Yeah, I don't know. Big West Boom jump out to a commanding lead. He's good for soup. 16. <laughs> pressure. You have to get on the board. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, pressure is actually going crazy over here on the sideline talking about how they fell apart defensively. So that's something we want to make sure we take a look at because the players are very upset. We're going to take over in the huddle right now talk about what all First of them did and incorrectly. I'm, and I'm wondering what this what this split of uh, responsibilities is going to do to their team, Kim. Just because Coach OTB is usually just the one calling their defense, right? But now he's got to be on both sides of the ball, so making adjustments in between turns or possessions like is going to be different. Oh, not a good ball, almost intercepted there. I'm telling you, like, they got to get it together here soon. Otherwise, I think this thing could get really ugly. Like overtime day. <laughs> got to get hey, it together soon. Hey, co- hey I- I'm going to be honest, man. It's kind of un- disheartening to see. Even even the quarterback with the receivers, it- it's a lot of, like, jawing back and forth. I, I think they might be I- – I don't know what it is. They're not on the same page right now. You talking about Deuce Knight with his receivers, with his own receivers? Yes, sir. Oh, man. That's tough. Oh! Almost another interception here. Deuce, 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 Deuce ain't been acting the same since he had that uh, that little interview with you, Snipe. Maybe you're bad luck. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, let's relax. Let's relax. After that, he did that interview with me, he scored on a money drive at the end of the game. So no, I, I like the strategy here. You almost throw back-to-back interceptions. Yeah. And then on the next play, uh, you probably throw an interception. It's going to be <laughs> tough, though, too, because they do have a pretty – Pretty ugly third down right here. They need to get some yardage. And also, got a blitz Boom right. has their blitz. Yeah. Boom has two blitzes remaining. They didn't yeah. need one the first time. So I'm, I'm looking at a blitz coming here for uh, for Midwest Boom to kind of just take over this game right here. There's the blitz. And they That's fall so started. Bro. Sloppy game bro. here for pressure yeah, early on. Bad, bro. False start so, by the so it's a loss of down five because they didn't get any yards. It's, it's so not a loss if it was down. anywhere else, they would replay the down, be a five-yard loss. I guess they are going to replay this down, actually. Yeah, they're, they're going to replay the down. So false start is just a five-yard penalty. Let's wait to see what Yeah, it's a five-yard penalty and replay of the down. So you're going to have a third down here. But Midwest Boom still gets to keep their uh, still gets to keep their blitz here. 40, we can't. There's no five to take you back. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, they, they lost. Yeah, so they lost. They lost possession down. there. Because Sorry, my fault, guys. They lost. They lost possession there because there's nowhere to go back. So yeah. if you false start, press back up at the 40 yard line, then you lose the ball. Oh, go for it. I think they got. That's going to be a sack. Score should be 18. Got you. Got you. Boom extends their lead to 18-0. Pressure not having a good game right now, man. Yeah, it's not good. Not not good. Very bad. Yeah, very bad. <laughs> very bad. 
So Snipe, you know, there's still a lot of time left. Snipe, you're a Pop Warner legend. What does pressure have to do different right here to, to get things going? I think Snipe might be a little I think Snipe. I think no, Snipe's down nothing. there with, uh, with with JR actually right now. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's down there. I see him down there chatting with the He's having so much fun. With the biceps. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> the guy's working. Snipe's yeah. having a great time with JR down there. Look at him. What's up, Snipe? Hey, man, I got Coach with me right now, man. Coach, y'all locked in. Y'all playing some good football right now. What is the mojo? What is the secret? What's going on behind him? You know, for us, it's faceless opponents, and we're just trying to work, okay? We got the break speed off us last game. All right, we went into it complacent. It's harder for us to take it two two games off and then play again, and and we stayed on the sideline during that game. So unfortunately, this team has to suffer the consequences. It's, it's the team we played before that is uh that we're beating right now. Now, coach, I gotta talk to you about the style, this shirt. I mean, wh wh where can I find this shirt at, man? Talk to me. I can't tell you my resource. You can't tell. I, I, hey, look, it's just me and you. We the only two people that's gonna know about it. If people start rocking this, then it's JR's everywhere. There's only one JR. He's one of a kind. Can't do it. That's right. You pulling it off, though. Keep doing your thing, man. All right, bro. <laughs> hey, Snipe, you should have asked him when he's defending his WCW heavyweight title. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm telling him. Hey, not only am I telling him, but I'm pointing to exactly who said that. Hey, dude, That's like a that. stop there for team pressure, though. They needed that one. They got to stop there on third down. 18 to 2. Pressure gets on the board. Still a two possession game here, you know? I feel like Coach did, like, 30 push-ups before the interview. Oh, yeah, no, he always does. I, I can't imagine. No, actually, we saw him earlier today. Like, 8 a.m. Getting, yeah, getting his morning pumping, you know? He just wanted to make sure that the that the arms looked big. Cool. Today. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, bro. Big, 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 big. We got a money drive coming, fellas. Money drive here for team pressure. They need to get on the board here. They need to get something going. Can we, just, can we just appreciate this very beautiful field that we got out here, man? It's freaking awesome. Yeah, big, big thank you to everyone that, that, that took part in, in making this field look appreciate as gorgeous it, man. as it is, man. It is, it is beautiful. This is, our, this is our fifth event that we've had this year, and it's been unbelievable. And we didn't even get to see it all. Well, maybe we'll get to check it out tomorrow. There's a player's lounge back there where they got ping pong. They're getting their hair done. They got cleats. They got everything back there. Listen to music. So... The field is amazing. The players lounge is amazing. We got some food out here. I love on the goal line, the O, the like the zero yard line is just an overtime O. Yeah, it's so cool. Crazy. It's unbelievable. Dude. I did this not notice that. And beautiful. I feel I feel I, I feel kinda, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really wish I would have seen that. Yeah, really you, cool. you yes. Press the boot. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Stupid. You should feel stupid. Yep. Oh. I feel stupid. We do have a <laughs> uh, yeah, see how I did that. Hey, that we yo, that's a great that? segue, man. We got group two coming up in a little bit. We Chilean do have boys. <laughs> Josh stupid and many more <laughs> but uh yeah right now we have this money drive though here for pressure they need to get on the board here they do have an opportunity for more points that's why i love ot7 though the money drive you get 10 points for scoring a touchdown here you can get right back into the game with this money drive how would you use it strategically tom are you a like come out right off the bat do a money drive, or do you want to use it strategically, or are you like, if I'm blowing you out, I want to like do a money drive to really add insult to injury, like we've seen today. Look, everything inside of me says start with a money drive because I just love scoring so much. But strategically, I like saving it, like, because they're never, you're never out of it when you still have your money drive left. Yes, you know what I mean. Exactly. Like you can always pull that out. Um, so I like to save it until I need it, basically. But I don't know. I liked, like, like level 82. I think does it right. Usually they save it, but the other, but well, I guess they lost that game. Or no, they beat pressure. Or no, they lost the pressure. No, they beat pressure. Um, so when they played, when they played pressure, they started with a money drive. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it depends who you're playing. There's that sample over the middle. Hey. Showcasing the speed gets down there for a first down. Hey, he might looking be the pretty solid on this money drive. Hey, he yeah. might be the fastest dude here. <laughs> nah, he was moving. Hey, you know, hey, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot that pressure beat crazy. lost the level 82 because it was such a controversial call. It at the was. End there. It was a very controversial call there. And then they just they just whooped up on the legends last game. But now we're looking at them trying to get things done here against Midwest Boom. But they're gonna have to come back. Getting off to that slow start has really hurt pressure, man. Yeah, it's not good. If they score on this money drive, they're right back in it though. Exactly. Game's still close. Hey, well, you know, you know, pressure's never gonna be out of it. That's the one thing. Yo, I love how many people are standing behind Deuce Knight. We got like nine nice coaches. Lead. We got like 50 <laughs> content creators, 100 cameras. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a sea of people filming. Yeah, you know, I love that. Coach OTB calling the plays now. And he got like this. Nobody ever talk about the infamous. The infamous hat, the bucket hat. It's, it's always on. Same, the gray camo. Yep. At this point, bro, it's just infamous. What a tail in the back I might have. Oh, yep. Come on, man. Well, I like that. There you go. Rolling out. Finds his target. 
They're calling that one. Yes, he is in the end zone. That's Jonah Williams. Star on offense and on defense. Got the game ceiling interception. Or, well, wasn't really game ceiling. He just That's a money momentum touchdown. swing so interception. Score, last game against the Legends. And now, it's a nice little play there. Eight. Yeah, they're back in this game, and they can get a stop and get a score. Seven minutes That's left in this game. game. Yep. So they were down 18-2, get a little money drive. That's why the money drive is so great. You get 10 points there. Good job by Coach OTB and Coach Destroying. Yep. Using that money drive at the right time. I got to say, I gave him a play last uh, last night called the Indexation of Puerto Rico. It's only supposed to be used in tough games, game-winning attempts. I'm excited to see if they're going to actually use it. It's facts, Snipe. Y'all yeah. don't believe me? No, no, no. no, 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 no. It, it really I happened, you. bro. I agree I with agree. you. I hate you. By the way, oh, while the outside, oh, he's taking off of the sideline. Almost got free right there. Yo, know, last night, D, uh, he had his barber come to the hotel to, to get him right. Snipe, like, did you get Oh, Snipe's busy now. I, I want to ask him. Snipe, did you face. get a haircut? Snipe got himself Did you get a haircut from D's guy? I actually cut my own hair, man. No way. I looked at a few 360 GZ videos, and I put it all together. We got a barber in the players' lounge. I seen that. Ooh, if I yeah. Bro, if I would have known that, I would have known. Bro, it's a barber back there. Yeah, yeah. I might, I might have done. to go. I might have to go get my hair cut right That's now. That's what I'm saying. Right. I might go get a design. I might get an OTE. I might get an overtime logo in my head, bro. Nah, don't do that. It's going to be no. a first down for Midwest <laughs> Boom down there. I'm going to get an OT7 logo in my head. Like, I might actually do that during the break. I'm like, first, you know, we do huh? have a break coming up next. We have a break for about an hour, and then we're going to be right back with some super teams playing. First game off the bat, we got Trillion Boys facing off against SFB. We got DEFCON 1. We got Raw Miami. We got a bunch of huge matchups coming right after the break. Group 2's coming up right after this game. Make sure you guys stay tuned with us. It's going to be about an hour break, and we're yep. going to be back right to those games, and we're going to have Overtime Day and Destroying in the booth for you. Speaking of Overtime Day, I recently seen him destroying a footlong back there in the back, man. He's oh, a no, really? footlong legend. That's going to be in about community. 20 minutes. So make sure that y'all uh, tap into my boy Overtime Day, Cover a.k.a. Side the play. Play. Goblin. <laughs> Yo, so I'm... <laughs> <laughs> this group so two we got it. for group two man this raw miami versus low pro game at 720 pacific i think that's the game i'm looking for yeah no honestly that that, that game is going to be interesting i tell you the, the game that i'm looking forward to most though tomorrow oh, we have low pro face in sfe and i cannot wait to watch that's that a, it's a very interesting it's thing. just it's such a cool I, match I think we have raw versus trillion again tomorrow also i just want to see what do they do we, run we, we do have raw versus trillion <laughs> Raw versus Trillion, the freaking yeah. the, the trilogy. It's gonna be crazy. I think the loser of that game is down there to Midwest Boom. We got a flag. Ooh. There's Bumble a flag on the play. We're gonna see what the flag is on. There's a penalty flag. It don't even play. matter, bro. Still a touchdown. It's gonna be a holding on the defense. That penalty is declined. It's a touchdown for penalty Midwest the Boom. Defense they take a commanding that lead. Man. Pressure. In a really tough spot. They need the points and they need to stop and they need the points again. This is looking uglier than my prom date. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Yo, what's her name? First name. Christina. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's actually uh, crazy. Well, uh, she'd be fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With hey, man, maybe, yeah. maybe, you know what I'm saying? She's one of those, like, you know, it took a while, but it uh, got together. You know what she needed? Like, you know what well, she needed? She needed some Invisalign. Got she probably got some now. Now you smile looking good, and now you, now you feel bad. That's true, bro. I'm telling you. Just need a nice Invisalign. Really gotta make something happen. <laughs> First step. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Deuce Knight dropping back. Looking for Zach Sample. Hey. Zach Sample. Zach Sample's having himself a great day. <laughs> chemistry's there for really. <laughs> Got that shake and bake Ricky Bobby type chemistry. Speaking going of shake right and now. bake, do you smell the quesadillas behind actually, the booth right now? I actually now? do, bro. So brother. Good. Oh my God. Stomach is growling right my now. My stomach is rumbling, brother. This about is crazy. Three Subway rumbling, sandwiches. Bumbling, yeah, <laughs> rumbling, stumbling, bumbling down the sideline. That's that's what it's doing right now. Deuce Knight looking for a guy over the middle. He's going to find That's him. He's just touchdown. short of the end zone, but they're going to call it a touchdown, touchdown. and there's a flag play. on the play. I believe it's a holding pass there interference, rather, on the defense. Penalty is going to be declined. Pressure. They're still in this. I don't understand how pressure that they need to stop here, though. They need to stop. They're in it, bro. You got to force You got to force a third down here, and you got to use one of the blitzes that you have. I think they got to stop. I think they got to stop. 
Look, they, they always do. They, they always, always do. do. They're just gonna make it tough. They're gonna make it tough for you. I don't know they're gonna stop this time though, bro. I think I think this is where I think this is where it changes. Pressure with the they have not been able to stop. It brings the score. Boom is looking great. Pressure with the nineteen. Big West Boom is gonna take over on downs. Two minutes crazy. Twenty-five seconds left. Hey, boy, yeah, you like chat. pressure. Bring if it. you like pressure, you like high cholesterol. You like <laughs> you like <laughs> you like thriller movies. Yeah, exactly. You love thriller movies, bro. Pressure is just one of the hardest teams to follow because it's just painful. It's so stressful. It's painful every time, man. Here we go. Midwest Boom going. Their quarterback, Alessio Miliove. Oh, Mil just give it up, bro. Miliove. Mil 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 yeah, I, I'm trying, brother. Yeah, you got you to yeah, ask, ask him in Baltimore. Yeah, you got to go ask him. Please. Second thing. I think it's Milivojevic. Mil Mil Milivojevic? I think so. Alessio Milivojevic. I love Mil him. Milivojevic. That's exactly all I was about to say that, but y'all kept cutting me off. Sure. I was about to tell y'all. Sure you were. Sure. <laughs> sure it's not. Yeah, bro. Milivojevic. <laughs> I can't believe you ain't know that, bro. I, yeah, on, I'm, I'm tweaking. I've seen him at like three, four, three divisionals and now the championship. Oh, I'm tweaking. It took Sorry. me like six months to learn Wimbin Yama. Hey, <laughs> shout out to Victor Wemby. Yo, what if Wemby was at OT7 playing? Oh, my god. Oh, he'd be a crazy quarterback. What are you going to do? Nah, that's a red zone target all day, bro. Oh, no, no, yeah. I, I would put him at wide receiver. What are you going to do? Seven foot five? Wemby at receiver? Seven five? Yeah, Good luck. Sweet. Hey, third. We got a third down here. This is exactly what I said they needed to do. Snipe, what did I say they needed to do? You called it, bro. What did I say? They, hey, they got to a third down. Come on. They have a blitz left. Yep. Come on. They're right back in the game. Are you calling? They're right back are, in the game. Are you calling it, though? Are they, they going to get the stop? I'm calling, hey, I think they should have used their timeout it. there. Tom I think already they called used it. They need to stop. There. The timeout would have stopped the clock. I think they should have. They're going to some very valuable clock right hey, why? Why aren't they calling the timeout right now? Because, bro, they need me as the other coach with I D. I guess they want to save it for offense, which I get. I don't. All right, here we go. I so hey, that trick play that they did last time. It's a big play. They're getting tricky. Oh! He's How did you let that happen? How did you let that happen? Devastating. Can we see the wide? Oh my god. I need to see a replay. Is anyone even matched up on him? Nobody's out there. What in the world just happened? Devastating. Nobody's even out there. That was Look at that. He he's standing. Oh, 18's pointing at him like, yo, no one. Yeah, he was standing right by the sideline. What a play. Oh man. Dem. That's the one right there. That was it. That's a backbreaker. Unless you're rolling out now. Across the body. Oh, okay. that's a new ball game, bro. That's ball Damn. game. Midwest Boom takes the victory over the pressure. Way. Pressure ends their day one and two in pool play. Damn. Like, you know. D is going to be so destroying is going to be the bro in the broadcast booth the rest of the day. Yeah. And I don't think he's going to be in a very good mood because that was a winnable game. The first game, they had no shot, I don't think. Well, I guess they could have won that game too. One and two could have been three and oh. Tough loss for pressure, but hey, they'll be back tomorrow ready to play. That was a very winnable game. And unfortunately for pressure, just didn't end up happening for him. It just yeah. ended up happening for him. But hey, you know, they'll be back tomorrow. They got three more games. I'm sorry, I think they only have uh, two more games tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> I believe it's two more games tomorrow. There's six teams in each at each pool. So we'll see. We'll see pressure again. We'll see if they can rebound, if they can play a little bit better. But unfortunately for them today, just not their day. Boom, ends their day two and one. Yep. Did what they were supposed to do, but California Power and being a team that went three and zero and really dominated here. But that was it for Group One today. We're gonna take about an hour break. We will be right back with Group Two, where we got Trillion facing off against SFV. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to sunny Los Angeles, California for the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are here at day two of pool play where we will be determining where these teams are ranking. The best seven on seven teams in the country, where will they will be ranking for Sunday, the final bracket play OT7 Championship. And we are joined here by some very special guests for our next game. We have Zach 
and Zion Branch. How we doing today, boys? Man, we feeling great, man. We at the feeling OT7 good. tournament, man. We seeing a lot of great talent out here. Yep. I just want to see some boys turn up. Hey, I'm excited to see these boys turn up. Celebrations, all well. that, man. Some of the foam pit. I need some more dives, more team dives, all that, <laughs> man. We just, we just excited to be here. Though. Hey, we got some college commitments, too. We got a Wolverine man over there. You see him? Yeah. Wolverine man. Hey, yeah. He's turned. Yeah. yeah, he was turned. He was turned. Hey, that's oh, going to yeah. be a conference opponent for y'all now pretty soon. Hey, man. Hey, hey, I'm just going to tell him. Get ready. USC. We coming. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, you got to go talk some trash to him, man. We can, we get you, we get you, we get I'm going to tell him congrats, but hey. <laughs> hey well, I'm coming. I'm yeah, letting you know. Yeah, we coming. <laughs> no, nah, definitely. This next game, though, we got pressure. Destroying team pressure, taking on California power. So, you know, if you guys were playing seven on seven, you know, would you guys be playing with Destroying's team or what? Mm. Um, Honestly, D my boy, but mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't play with him because <laughs> I, would, I would just be, I would be playing on my high school team, man. You know, we had that chemistry going. We had to keep it what going. What program was in that? High school. Uh, Game, Game Changers. Sports Game Changers. Game Changers. So we, yeah. we was basically our biggest one in high school. Uh, team. A lot of the Vegas talent out there. A lot of the yeah. top talent in Vegas. You we know, got we a just lot stuck of, together. We got a lot of Bishop Gorman guys out here. The, yeah, yeah. Probably the two best quarterbacks we've seen. They're both, they both go there. Uh, Mike boy, Eugenio Micah. and then Mike Alajado. Yes, sir. They're both tough. Yeah, no, I played Mike Alajado. He was starting for us uh, since well, I was a freshman, so yeah, yeah that, that boy nice. And then yeah, yeah. Eugenio, he coming up, he, he, he a gunslinger for sure. We got to talk about these new jerseys, though. About time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. About time, these boys didn't pull up with the new jerseys, the yeah. baseball drip. Tom, I know you a jersey guy. What you think about these? I don't like Cali Powers. They've been blue the whole season. Just the flip to red feels kind of weird. Cali Power had the blue and gold joints that I really like, but these, I don't know. I'm not I'm not really digging these either, but pressure, they have, they have a cool little combination of uniforms here, but that first down went to Zach Sample. They got Deuce Knight, quarterback out there, talking crazy trash yesterday. It was insane. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with the green hat we got real quick, though? Like, what's up with bro? Y'all rocking with that? I know, I like it. You know, you need a little swag. What, what y'all think? I don't know. I'm like, like, I don't <laughs> know. like in between. You don't really know. I don't really know. It's in between. Cause yeah. What um, we talking about? His so helmet. Like, he had like a little a little Mike yeah. Wazowski hat on over there from like Monsters Inc. Joint. Yeah, Monsters Inc. Joint. It's different. Crazy. I'm liking it though. He's trying to stand out. He's standing yeah, out. He's standing, standing out. out. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah, looking mad fresh in here though, man. They USC. Man, we cool. We cool. Y'all say it's a chill day. Chill day. Chill day. Good catch. Strong hands. Oh, nice I'm, little I'm kick. A little hey, they got Martellus Carter. They got Martellus Carter pitching a ball. Is he, is he backup QB too? I, he might be backup QB. Hey, what relax, is happening relax, right now? Relax, relax. He might be backup QB. We're gonna get y'all a camera though here. Come come take a look at this right here, bro. I'm telling you, you got the you got the Ferrari jacket on. You know Man, what I mean? It ain't on. It ain't, you know, it's hey. <laughs> it's a yeah. it's a light it's a light day. Day. It's a light You see how he opened it's it? Jacket, it's, it's, it's a light, light day. day. It's a you light got the chain with his day. number Come on it and all. Man. Okay, I see you. I see you. You got to be like, uh, what's that dude? Chris, you smooth on Instagram? Come on, how much man. a pin? How much a pin? How much a pin? <laughs> dude, Snipe looking oh. in the back of the end zone. Just Second incomplete. But Precious moving the ball here early, man. Yeah. Yesterday they went one and two. You guys didn't get to see they. They, they were moving the ball, but, you know, we got Deuce Knight. We got Zach Sample. We got right. a couple of my guys out here. We got some we guys got, out here. Yeah, we got Jonah. Guys. Big yeah. old Jonah out there. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's good to see them dudes, you know, bouncing back from, from a day like yesterday, too, and mm. just see if they bounce back from it. Uh, it's good to see a lot of their athletes out here balling, man. Yeah, we got guys from all over the country out here. What, what state you guys think got the best football players? Don't, don't do this to me. As a whole, yeah. as a whole, we talking about no, talk, we talking about athletes. quality or quantity? For, just straight athletes. Straight athletes. athletes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm now loving that one. That boy loving that one. That, that was the best seller of the day. That was the best seller. Yeah. Best seller of the day for sure. That's my boy Zach Sample. You know, I, I gave him some slack yesterday because uh, Deuce Knight, quarterback, dunked on him. Bad. 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 Dunked on him bad. We got the video loaded up this time too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to do this to him after the touchdown. You've been trying but I got to do it to him the whole day. I got to. I got to show he, he it off. He brung this up at least 30 times. Yeah. He said he said he got a windmill where his head was at the rim though. So, but they didn't show that one. It was it was crazy. Hey, but look, his name's Zach too. So hey, you know he got the swag. Yeah, I know he got the swag. He's shifty too. Just like yeah, yeah, okay. Second Second you know down. what it is. Yeah, yeah Cali we, Power on the ball now. They went 3-0. We, we got the, the video game. right here. Hold on, here's the dunk. I was alluding to it all day yesterday, but we got <laughs> we got we got our boy. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's not nah, showing that on broadcast is crazy. Nah, you gotta let your that on broadcast is insane. He let him do that because he wanted his quarterback to throw him the ball. Oh, okay. Got a little catch. Cali Power moving the ball there. They get a little first down there. 
Yeah. That boy Quasi said he got something, something crazy that? for us today. I'm, I'm actually nervous to see what it is. Quasi showed up at 8.30 in the morning talking trash already. And he had cowboy <laughs> boots on <laughs> and the cowboy hat after he the game. Up, ready. Quasi is hilarious, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. Well, I'm telling you. I'm not letting you guys get away from this. You still didn't answer the best state. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you got to answer that one. Best so, state. Best state. One. I feel like, so, what sport are we talking about? Football. 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 He football. said, Cali. what sport? I'm over here thinking track. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Cali. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to go with Cali. Second I'm going to stay with Cali. You just hurt Karen real bad. Yeah. Yeah. They're just saying that because they go to USC, bro. It's always Texas, Texas. bro. It's been Texas. 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 It'll always be Texas. A lot of people say it's Florida, though, bro. My experience with Texas players is like, I don't know. Hey, the only player to catch a touchdown in this game? Texas. Thank you very much. Case closed. Okay. You know, uh, Cali Power trying to move the ball one. here. Ohio got some Looking good football for, players too. They will pick up that? a first down. Ohio? Yeah, bro. Oh, Man, name one football player from Ohio right now. Please, oh, third down Ohio. back. Maybe Pop Warner. Hey, Joe Burrow from Ohio. That's That's cool. Joe Burrow problem. It's real prior. First and goal. Ooh, is he yeah, actually from Ohio? Yes, Ohio? he is. Ooh, yeah, he was a problem in high school. I'm not going to lie. Who, Joe Burrow? Oh, no, Joe Burrow, but yeah, Terrell Pryor was the other guy, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all might be too young for Ohio. Yeah, no, he was. He played the whole state. One on your box. One on your box. One on the box. One on the box. See, quarterback Luke Fahey, or is that Bear? Is that our guy Bear? Not to mention, uh, uh, yeah. oh no, yeah, that's Kelsey. Bear. Bear's got the Cleveland too. Yeah, that's Luke Fahey. Oh. Look at over the Blue. top. Oh, it's a touchdown, okay. okay. Sally, oh. where the Sally? Oh. Yeah, oh, Sally. Oh. No Sally, man. They, they all business. They're three and zero. Oh. Oh, they look goodness. like the strongest team in this group. Oh, We're gonna oh, see goodness. what they can do. We played three and a half. Quasi already looking at the booth talking. <laughs> you didn't catch the touchdown, Quasi. Let's go. What number? The score is Kelly right Power. Seven. Yeah. In the middle. Oh, yeah. He turned. Bro, he's crazy. <laughs> First down. Pressure. Seven. seven. Dang, Pressure back on the ball. Is this on YouTube TV down. or what is it? It's on YouTube. We are on overtime season. First down. We got some comments in here. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share. You know, run it up. Yeah. We got two of the most talented young players yeah. in all of college football right here. Yeah, man, you already know. If you guys turned. got any questions for Zach or Zion, let me know, you know. Comments. Sure. One. Hey, it's five. No. Three. Five. Incomplete. <laughs> you got to ask. I got sure. you. <laughs> oh, Tom. Tom's got everything, man. <laughs> I got Tom's special Wi-Fi. Wi oh, yeah, appreciate Tom it. Tom does have a special Wi-Fi. Second down. Exclusive. So I ain't even get the Wi-Fi. It's, 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 it's called TomNet. It's just for me. Oh, that's lit. That's lit. I ain't gonna lie. He got it going, man. He's got his own Wi-Fi. I, I, you must be special. I ain't get to hear about TomNet. That's crazy. That's true. Snipe, you I ever hear about like TomNet? <laughs> I don't think Snipe got the invite either. We got Coach OTB out here calling plays for Coach OTB for pressure. He's doing double duty now, but he said One. apparently they said they got a defensive Two. coach out here today, so Three. he's just going to be on the offensive side of the ball. Ooh, That's a nice catch. ball from Deuce Knight. We got third down. We had a crazy down. comp yesterday. They we said Deuce Knight was Vince Young 2.0. I was like, brother, what did you just say? Lefty Vince Young. <laughs> lefty Vince Young. It's crazy. So he can sling it. Young. He can. He can sling it. He can fit in some tight areas. Uh, all right, we got questions coming. No, uh, yeah, Noah wants to know, guy. Zach, have you right ever there. been run over? Have I ever been run over? <laughs> I'm not, that's I'm the first I'm not, question. Ooh, that's crazy. Question. I ain't gonna lie, they started off crazy. You gotta, gotta answer the truth, though, bro. Crazy, you gotta be honest. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, though. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you, though. My, I, was, I was 10 years old. Mm. It's back when I played defense. We was playing the 49ers. I'm over here. It's, it's like two yard. We're on the two this. yard line. I remember. He back. He I like. I'm this. talking Eddie oh. Lacy. <laughs> he come. <laughs> Come through the middle. I'm yeah, like, yeah, like, what's up? He come through the middle. Cali Power. Thanks, you know, I'm on my strike. back. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> done with that defense. Was, that was probably his last snap of defense. That was my yeah. last memory of defense Scores right there. Yeah, I'm yeah, leaving yeah. the defense. Right, this is a better yeah. question for Zion. Randall Jordan though. wants to know who's faster, you or Zach? Oh, who's faster? You know what? You know what? I feel like. First down. Straight ahead, I'm going to give it to him. But I feel like if I got to chase this man down, I'm going to probably have a higher mm. speed distance. Okay. If I got to chase him down. You getting your knees up is what I'm he was on here. Come on. I'm DK. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. He it's said I'm DK, this is Baker. All right, so and uh, Pedro Alfaro wants to know, who was your guys' first D1 offer? One up, one up. Mine was Colorado my freshman year. Colorado. Right mm. yeah. Mine was hometown, UNLV, my eighth grade year. Okay. Yeah. Your eighth grade year? Eighth grade. Yeah. Man. And then you <laughs> I guys, can't did you guys always plan on going to the same school? Yeah, yeah we uh -huh. made that decision when we were young. As so, like, yeah. soon as we started learning out about as soon as we started figuring out college like, offers and stuff yeah. like that, it was like, you know, we wanted to play together when we go to college. Right. And 
man, it just worked out. So it's just been a blessing ever since that. We got third yeah. down. Third and, down. And, uh, third Kenneth down, Irvin wants to know what you guys think about Colorado. They got they got Coach Prime over there now, getting a lot of recruits. What do you guys think about them? Yeah, I think he's doing a pretty good good job over there. But um, you know, I can't really speak on anybody else's program. I mean, I don't really know what they're doing over there, but. You know, I'm, I'm, excited, like I'm excited for them, though. I'm excited for the change that he's making. Got some yeah. big trenches over there, Travis Hunter and stuff like that, too. So I feel like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be a good matchup. We going over there to play against One. them, too, in their house, Early, too. Right? So, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Everybody so so going deep. Oh, oh, oh intercepted. You dropped the money. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, that's all Dang. cool and all, but Rain wants to know, which one of you guys gets more girls? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. We'll be going. I just read the question. We're going to go 50 50 because you know, we both go, cutting up. It go back and forth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's get money. But you know, five seconds left in this competition. The score is. Yeah, we going to go 50 50. Hey, what game was on a date last night? Hey, hey, yo, hey. You want a date? I mean, it was chill. Okay. It was chill. I'm digging it, though. I was trying. I'm digging it, though. Hey, you know, I came back home for a little bit. I had to go out and say what's up. Yo, what y'all went to eat or something? We got some Japanese barbecue. It was a good time. Okay. 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 <laughs> no invite. Smooth. Had to. You can't go wrong with that either. You know what I'm saying? No invite. Can't give me a plus one. Uh, <laughs> no. Give me a friend. No, no, no. You chilling, bro. You all good. Like all you trying to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you know, I was out here. I actually met yeah. Zach and Zion last time. We, we were shooting with uh, Tyreek Hill. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh. I watched this. Hey, Zach. Zach got, got, a, got a couple on Tyreek. I'm not going to lie. It was, was going to walk yeah. ball. He kind of walked Zach was. a couple times. He thought he had me. Um, it was yeah, different. It was different. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Ball down there. Zach. Teddy. Zach. Oh, oh, get it. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Tough. He's boy, tough. Like, yeah, he's tough. tough. He's tough. 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 And I like the red. You come in the red accessories and make him stand out. Oh, Zach Sample oh. going off right now. Both teams with a good defensive stop. But hey, pressure came to play. California Power went 3-0 yeah. yeah. yesterday. Yeah. They're looking like the team to beat. Pressure went one and two. But Coach OTB First said to me yesterday, Cali. we're winning this whole thing. Mm. Y'all just watch. Tomorrow, we, we adjusted to the rules. We got the team together. We're going to win this whole thing. Hey, I actually got Zach with me right now. Hey, bro, you in your zone right now. Talk to me, bro. Second down. Yeah, I ain't want to lose no more. I'm tired of losing for real. We're about to win this whole thing with my team. We finna win this entire right here, right thing. Alright, now look, I wanna I wanna in be middle, honest with you. Middle, Some people at the booth. Look at the booth. You see them two people. Actually, one of the dudes you dapped up. Yeah, you they, uh -huh. they actually showed the dunk on live broadcast. They they showed You wrong for that, fam. <laughs> you wrong for that, bro. <laughs> hey, don't let them throw you off. You keep hey, doing what you're doing. You still be great, though. Don't don't listen to them. Guess what? He gonna still say my name when I score two. Come on, come on, bro. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Okay. Hey, I'm with Zach on that. I don't, hey, hey, the crazy part, I don't even know how he found out. Hey, Snipe is a generational instigator. Bro. I don't even know how he found out, bro. He must have watched the broadcast. He For said he, you don't know how he found out. I just I, told bro, him. I, beats me. <laughs> That's going go. crazy, though, One. man. Going crazy. Luke oh. Fahey back at quarterback. Finds his man in the flat. Very close to a first down there for California. Hey, 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 Trying to respond here. Down. Nine down. minutes left in the game. Oh. Second down, second down. And the refs are doing a way better job with the false starts this game, bro. Yesterday was like 69 false starts in the first three games mind. alone. Yeah, set it up. One. That's because I talked to him. Two. They, they actually the, the refs went home and they watched the broadcast. I swear to God, and they all came back and they're like, "You guys hated it." Indians touchdown for California Power. They tied this game up 16 to 16. Oh, 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 oh. It's a good game, man. So out of the uniforms that you see out here, guys, wow. which ones do y'all think are the cleanest? Uh, I'm not going to I like, I like boom uniforms. Uniform. Yeah. I like yeah. boom yeah. uniforms so far. I, mean, I like that vibrant, you know, that vibrant green. It makes me stand out. That like yeah. fluorescent little uh, I'm like the, yellow the baseball, and too. I'm liking that, too. The baseball is a little shaker. I like the pressure. They say they got another version yeah. of the jersey, too. So you might be seeing another not pressure jersey. They said they got one that's uh like they had, I saw one earlier. They had a, like a little Atlanta Braves one. They look pretty clean Ooh, too. Yeah, that's hard. yeah, it was pretty that's tough. Hard. Oh, yeah, they amping up with the uh, with the uniforms now, man. It's crazy. Hey, yo, NV Me Gaming. They want to know what's it like playing with Caleb Williams. Talk, talk to us about him a little bit. You guys play with probably the best quarterback in the country. Nah, he is the best quarterback in the second country. He's the best second player. Second player. Yeah, for sure. Like you could tell that practice just just his energy and you know the way he carries himself and I mean he backs it up with the way he plays too. Like. 
it's just a blessing to be able to, you know, get him for another year being a, a receiver coming in. So, I mean, you know, he, he's going to do some great things this season, and he's going to ball in the NFL, too. Definitely what I can say about Caleb is down, what everyone sees on those Saturdays, you're going to see every day at practice. That's so, he's going he gonna to bring that, that juice, that energy every day, and he's going to try to light up the defense every day at practice. So, it's definitely like game day tempo every time we go against him. So, it's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I think USC was probably one of the funnest teams to watch last season, too. Like, yeah, yeah, both in, in all of those games. Utah, yeah. that like the, that one was back and forth. Yeah, like stay tuned. all of them too. It was stay it was tuned. great. Notre Dame game was crazy too. Caleb is special, man. He for is real. for real. Yeah. But yeah, this gonna be another year for him too. So I'm excited Damn. for him. I'm happy we and ain't I, gotta play him no more. That, I saw that one time one. he played Texas, came Woo. back. Like, we were oh, yeah. up like 30, and he just came back and won that's the whole game. That's when he cut up. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, like how he's coming down. And hey, that was a ball 15. right there. I'm not going to lie. I mean, hey, he's fitting into a tight space. He's not afraid, man. I'm telling you. Deuce Knight. Nice. First and sure. goal. First and goal. Pressure's going to move the ball Slide inside in the 10 yard line. You got D Strong out there oh cheesing. Yeah. Look at him. D. <laughs> Look at D out there cheesing. Pressure Look at him in the score. First and goal. He got the whole jumpsuit on today. Looks good. D, now he does D look mic'd clean. Up. He mic'd up or not? Nah, I believe I believe he is. I think I think he has. I, he I don't think he can hear us right now. He can't hear us, though. Yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah he's mic'd up right now, though. We, we don't hear, hear something from him. One, two, three. Oop. Oh, yeah, there it go, there it go, there it go. I've seen this route though. I, I got a little handsy with it, man. Little handsy. <laughs> there he is, chirping to somebody. He's talking about, you can't do that. You can't do that, three. <laughs> oh. Uh, You're going half the distance, half the distance to the four and a half. It's a really tight game though here too. That's that's what pressure does. That's their specialty, man. Every they, they, game, they, is close, every bro. game. Going to every it doesn't matter. They could be playing. I'm telling you, they could be playing the Dallas Cowboys in the game would be close, bro. Dallas <laughs> 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 Cowboys. What's up with Dallas Cowboys? I'm done with the Dallas Cowboys, bro. You done with them? I'm done with them. You just traded? I'm done. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm a Chiefs fan now. Die hard. Oh, been my Chiefs whole life. fan. I've, I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life. What are you talking about? Nah, just before last time we met up, it was a little different conversation. Yeah, no, it definitely was. But I'm done with them now. Okay. It's too much pain, bro. Can you do that? You're a Chiefs fan. That's like insane. You know, when y'all get to my old age of 24, you're going to be like, man. Nah, I see what you're saying, though, because I was I was a Raiders fan, but I don't know what's going on with us. What you mean? I'm still a Raiders fan. Okay. I was about to say. He said what? 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 I was about to say. We got to get yeah. together, man. What's it going to be like? What team did y'all grow up, like, not liking? Not liking. Not liking. It's not really I don't like a team. It's I don't just like I don't like the I don't like the, the I don't weather. like the Broncos. That's real. Because I can't. That is real. I, mean, I can't imagine, like, growing up not liking a team. Like, I cannot stand, like, Washington. Hey, like, I whatsoever. It. I, I cannot it. stand them. And I can't stand the Giants. <laughs> Hey, but like giant. if I played, I'm hey. sorry, I'm sorry, Tom. Like, I got to. the worst bro. season ticket holder ever. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, oh my God, he lost the ball. We got third and goal. Third and goal. That's second. Yeah. So they got one more. That was second down. down. They do have another Zero. down, but he just. Mm. <laughs> can we get a replay on that? Because he just completely Relax, threw that thing in the dog. dirt. I think his fingers came across that one. It's too. Shouldn't ate that popcorn. Hey, yeah, too much. <laughs> I don't think it was too much grip, bro. He, he must have had some fruit gushes or something stick to his fingers. I don't know. So you guys are both Raiders fans? Yeah. 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 That's sad. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not going to lie. We've been struggling for the last couple years. Years? Have you know. they ever won when you've been alive? Nah, I'm not going to lie. They won when anyone here has it's, been alive. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Hey, look, man. I just hope that I ain't gonna lie. I hope they. I hope they're bad this whole time. So when they I get, get drafted, Caleb? they get they, me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They get they me. Get me. Yeah. And they then we turned around, but they had a Sam. whistle blow. They should just get the whole USC team. They should. I think, if they get Caleb, oh yeah, so still has to make that one happen. Offense. Mm. Big down here. That's a false start. Moving the ball five yards back. They're gonna be at the ten yard yeah, line. They need right. this. Oh, it's third down. California Power still has a blitz remaining, so. It's a penalty, big dog. It's 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 game. Game. Oh, I, think I think they're going to use that blitz here. Four oh, minutes remaining in this game. You know, pressure stop. always loves to keep it close, but they say, need to up now, but it's another close game. So, yeah, OTB <laughs> going to have to pull something out of the pocket. Hey, Jess. Uh-oh. I'm not feeling so, good know, about pressure right now. Coach Branches, you know, what, what are we calling right here? <laughs> what's y'all what's y'all's go to in the red zone? Yep, I knew it. Blitz. Oh, pick that. Going up to Joe. Yes, oh! Pass oh. 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 
It is. Yeah, and it's three stop. points for a pick. So they just, they so just it's only two. It's only two points. I'm not gonna lie. The red zone, I probably have to do a little pick route. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Have somebody go out and then, you know, since it's a blitz, I'm gonna have somebody come all the way across the field and have the quarterback uh, roll out this way. Mm. They got one. You gotta have a little crack back. I don't know if you can do that. Seven on seven. You gonna light somebody up? Is what you ask? Nah, it's gonna look natural, but it's really not. California power yeah. takes the lead yeah. there. California we got kind of a serious yeah. question for you guys. XD Shadows, you said you guys are obviously really talented, but what's the, like, the number one thing that you guys did in high school to kind of get noticed, get, make, get your name out there? How hard you had to work and all that stuff? Hey, and don't go in I would say shoulders, everything you know? that you do off the field is definitely going to prepare you for whatever everybody sees on Fridays and Saturdays, but I do feel like to get recognized, stuff like this, going to, you know, tournaments like this, getting yourself recognized, getting yourself in front of coaches, you know, obviously like college camps and stuff like that. But, uh, man, yeah, I mean, oh, and then especially your high school games, like that's where it really shows that, that's you know, all. Friday Night Lights is where everybody comes to see. So when you go out there and show it, the game speaks for itself, really. One, yeah, nah, two, for sure. I definitely three. pitch in on that and just say, I mean, this is honestly where I kind of, you know, took off a little bit actually in 707 last season. So, I mean, all the things that you're doing when nobody's watching is what prepares you for the moments where people are watching. So yeah. I feel like that's what really leads up to it. And once you get in these moments, then it's really your time to shine and, you know, the God will take care of the rest. It's also got to help running like 4-3. Yeah. In the 40 <laughs> I feel like that's uh, I mean, a little bit, real. Yeah. a little bit. I mean, you know yeah, like saying? also I wrote four four, so you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. 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 He yeah. should do the blitz, but that's gonna be out of bounds. No flag on that. And that's a stop. Oh, oh that's a stop. We got a no tie game right now with a minute left. I want to shit, bro. I want to talk to Coach. I'm screaming for a PI on that, man. Oh, it's nice. Oh, no, but it's not. Death, Death, taxes, and pressure playing in close games. That's what we get. Another, another game winning possession. <laughs> Tie ball game with a minute and 30 seconds left. Let's see if Coach OTB can die. You said you want to get like a monthly or like a one hand catch? What? Oh, I saw that one. I saw that one. Kyan Berry. Kyan Berry Johnson. Probably the best catch I ever seen. Oh, shit. Oh my goodness! He overthrew him by a little bit, bro. Just by a little bit. Just missed him. I kind of want to. Y'all got? Did they got overtime? Yes. I kind of want to see overtime though. I'm not gonna lie. Zach, we haven't seen it overtime because every question is saying, "What does Zach think about Nico Yamayama?" Yeah, that's my dog, man. He's tough. I played with him in uh in the Poly Bowl. Okay. He got some real talent for real. So I think he's gonna do his thing over there at Tennessee. We're gonna see his little brother play soon. His younger brother's playing in in two games. The team toll is playing against pressure. The next time we see pressure, you're gonna see uh Matt Yamayama. Going out there, he's tough too. He's just like it, bro. I'm telling you. Ooh, the team. Ah. Oh, right through the hands. He's throwing some darts right now, though, too. We have a big third down. 27 seconds left on the clock. Jeez, they got to they gotta have something happen here. So what's the overtime rules if they do or so, like okay, so if, if there's going to be, if, there's, uh, if, we, if we go to overtime, we're going to have to end in a tie here, um, which mm. I, it's not looking too likely right now, but right. Um, if we do go to overtime, you're going to get, uh, I believe it's three Eight. attempts uh, at, at the end zone. You're going to get three attempts um, from the 20-yard line. Up there. It's hard to get, it's hard to get a uh, overtime, though, because defense go scores if they get a stop, too. So. Yep. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Exactly. You get three attempts to score, I believe it's from the 25-yard line. One. Oh, they got us. Yeah, and you have to go for the for the one point game, oh, which is like a, a point after attempt from the ten yard line. That's a stop. They're gonna lose the that game. That is a stop. Wow. And they're gonna lose the game on that the game on stop. Pressure, bro. Pressure, man. Because they can run the clock. Out. Oh, it's ten seconds. Yeah, it's still ten seconds on the clock, and they're just gonna let it run out. Unfortunately, they will be losing on that turnover on downs. California Power is going to take the W here. Moving their record to a big 4 and 0 in bracket play or in pool play rather. Pressure drops down to 1 and 3 in pool play, but we will see them again against Team Toa and Madden Yamaliyaba. Two That's games from now, but next up, we got the Legends facing the same California Power team, and Tom predicted That's that the Legends would go undefeated today, so mm. we will see and what so happens. And so did uh, our boy Hedder. Here the yeah, boys go, they're hitting the pit. Uh, there you go. <laughs> they're jumping right in the pit right now. But oh, yeah. For Kieran, I was going to say for myself, no, yeah. for Tom, for Zach, for Zion, we appreciate y'all coming in, stopping, talking to us, bro. Sure. We got another game coming up here pretty soon.
Don't go anywhere, guys. We got Legends versus California Power coming up next. Sunny Los Angeles, California for the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We have the 12 best teams in the country competing for seven on seven supremacy. And we're right back here with two of the best teams that we've seen. Team Toa facing off against Team Pressure. I'm your man, Kieran, in the booth. Joined here by Tom. We're ready to watch some good football. It's going to be a good time out here. Let's get it, baby. What's 22 up, minutes on the clock. How's it going, Tom? I'm doing great, man. We're getting joined right now by Coach Porter, undefeated California Power, but I'm excited to see this pressure team play a little bit. I'm, I'm really excited yeah, to see Team Pressure play out here. We also got Team Toe out here. First first glimpse of Matt Niyama Liaba today. But in the booth, we are joined by Coach Porter. We got the family, too. We got the whole squad out here. Yeah, yeah I got the whole, you. got the whole squad out here. Yeah. He's, got the, he's, got the, he's got the babies up here. So yes, sir. Coach Porter, how we doing? We're doing good, man. We're yes. doing good. 5-0 on the day. Finish 5-0. Oh, oh. Who do we got here with you? I got my oldest son, Gunner, and my one-year-old, my youngest son, Riot. Awesome, awesome. You guys are 5-0 now. What, what's the difference here? Because, I mean, you guys have been hot and cold kind of in the other divisionals. Once you get the playoffs, that's when sure. you kind of turn it on. What, uh, sure. these first five games, how they been going for you? Uh, we're just playing together as a team. And, like, I, the message was Coach Faye, right, our co-defensive coordinator, um, he just said anybody can get it, and that's the damn truth, right? But then the second message was we're playing together with love, yeah, right? Uh, respect everybody, fear nobody. Okay. And I think we're just playing. We're doing a good job of playing together, battling back through adversity, um, and we're just playing simple alignment, assignment, execution Balls football. Away. Awesome. And now you guys are 5-0. First yeah. down. First kind of the goal, favorite now. What's, who's one team that you're looking out for that you're like, all right, that, that might be our toughest test on Sunday? Uh, to be honest with you, I listen, I just, I, just, I just try to take care of one game at a time, man. You know what I mean? So, like, that's it. Like, I could care less who we play. Line it up. Oh, so like you said, everybody can of, get it. You're not afraid of D. Sherling's pressure team? <laughs> No. Hey, I got a ton of respect for D. Nah, he D. laughed, bro. He D. laughed. Hey, I got a ton of respect for D. D, I, I think I'm two for two, huh, D, with uh, calling touchdowns yesterday when he was behind us when we were playing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was showing him a little bit of our playbook. You know what I mean? I was like, it's going to be a tug. He's like, damn, you called it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. No, they got a good program, man. Pressured us. They do. They played us, and we ended on defensive stock. So, like, that was a battle. Well, Coach, I saw you at the last divisional that I saw you at. You were saying, you know, Pool play, like, it's, it's for getting to know your opponents. It's for, it's for getting to, to, to figure things out so you can really show up during bracket play. And this time, you came up to the booth and you're like, we're not playing around this tournament. We're, yeah. we're, going, we're coming here to dominate every single game. We, sure. We're a home turf. We got to dominate. And we want a higher seed yeah. coming into bracket play. So what does that mean for you this time? Yeah, because out, because back out, this is the out. Super Bowl, right? So, like, mm -hmm. pool play for us out. was Orlando and Baltimore. Mm. So, like, we're going to treat every game like it's the Super Bowl now. So OT7 finals at our home turf. Let me let me explain that again. Our home turf, California mm. Power, right? Like, this is this is it. This ain't pool played us. So, you know what I mean? Like, you're only as good as your last performance. So It is interesting that all the teams from California are playing back up, pretty back up, well. Back up, back up. Trillion Boys yesterday went 2-0. Yes. Sure. I, I know they're from all over the place. Team Toa, they, they went 1-2 yesterday, but they looked pretty solid. That's you guys really obviously good. are 5-0. Oh, yep. yep. California, California the best football all state. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not even saying that being biased, man, right? But, like, absolutely. I, I think so. You know, I think if you want to go back in this rich history, right, like Pennsylvania at one point was, like, the best, and all my family's from Western PA on my dad's side, right? <laughs> you see the Pittsburgh hat and all that. Right, but then and I think the switch went to California, right? Um, and then, obviously, you got a ton of respect, a ton of respect for Texas, Florida, Georgia. Right, even Louisiana. Um, but yeah, I, I believe California is, hands down. Got it. And I heard you talking about earlier that uh, you weren't, you guys weren't in last year's OT7 in sure. Vegas. What happened there? Uh, we, like I said, we're a first year program, right? So, like, we're affiliated with, we'll always be Pro A family. Um, and um, we were a Pro A team, and, and uh, we had. We had a good, solid team, a bunch of three stars, a couple sure four stars. That goal line. And uh, we won like three national tournaments, Take 33 straight games. And I mean, Hunter, that's when we met. And we were going to yeah. put in California Power last year. And I met him at the tournament. And um, I told him, I said, listen, if we would have been in this tournament last year, we would have won this tournament. And I said, but we will be in the tournament next year, and we're going to win this tournament. OK, so Hunter, if anyone doesn't know, he's a OT7. He's kind of put this whole thing together. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 
But he, uh, he didn't let you guys in. Now you, gotta, now you gotta turn it on. I like yeah, it. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna move in a little bit here so we can all get on here. Good football out here, you guys. You guys do a great, great job. We have a ton of respect for you guys too. Like this is uh, just turned into the be the mecca of seven on seven football now. Appreciate so that. it's awesome. It's been unbelievable, though, yeah. and I, I, it's been very inspiring to see you guys' performance. A lot of people talk, but you came up to me yesterday with a very straight face and said, "We're we're, we're gonna run this thing." Yeah. <laughs> we are. We are. I'm gonna Joe name it this right now. You know what I mean? Like California Power. We're gonna walk away with the chip. Yes. So. Yes, yes. I like I it. it. I like it. Uh, I first saw that confidence. I believe it was. Uh, it was, it was in Austin. Oh, no, it was in, it was in Florida when you were talking to head coach of DEF CON. Yeah. You were saying, yeah, well, we'll see you in the championship in a couple yeah. more games. I feel, yeah. I feel the exact same way, right? I don't know who we're going to play, but, uh, you know what I mean? We're going to take care of one game at a time. I just feel really good. I feel really good about our group. Uh, they're gelling together. Like I said, they're playing with love. And I just, when you know, you know, right? You got a good feeling about things. Yeah. And, uh, like, I just, our team is just, I, I like this group. Yeah. I really, really do. I really we, like this group. And our coaching staff is doing a hell of a job. Right, you know, Jacob Porter, our DC, co DC, Jake yep. Fay, Austin Pettis, right? Who's a red zone menace, right? Yeah. As an OC, <laughs> right? Like, everybody talks about how, like, stacked our roster is, but our coaching staff is out of control. Yeah, I was going to ask right. about that. You had, like, a coaching switch, like, in the red zone where you, like, uh, is, that, is, that, is that Coach Pettis coming in and calling yeah. those plays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We coached at the same high school together. Okay. So he was a third round draft pick. Okay. So, um, yeah. Here's oh, the deal. You went to Boise State or the yeah, Washington? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was a third round. My wife's coming up here. Okay. My beautiful oh, wife. Let's my get her on the half. broadcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah come, they want you, can you come up here, please? Can you come up here, Mrs. Porter, please? <laughs> no, no, no. Can you come up here? Please, no, come up here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We yes. got a headset for her and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming to get the baby. That's what it is. Hey, I, he pissed himself, gotta, didn't he? Did he pee himself? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got to ask about how Coach Porter is. Yeah. Right yeah. Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right here. You sure? All right, put that down a little bit here. Yeah. All right, we got Coach Porter's wife over here. We got the kid, we have the whole family up here. We got <laughs> the know. Coach Porter is a little crazy on the field. He's being a little more calm right <laughs> now. What's, what's he go, like uh, when he's not coaching football? Uh, he's the same. <laughs> <laughs> He's, a, he's, always, he's always all over the place, screaming a little bit, but it, but it means well. Uh, he's always, always level 10. Like, <laughs> my baby knows. Like, we told you, shh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. Can we expect the championship from him this weekend? Oh, I expect you. Of course. Hey, Trey. <laughs> very good. Very good. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us. No problem. Us. I'm going to let you know. Here it goes. I'm let you know. Okay. We got <laughs> Toa. We got pressure tied here. Go ahead. Yeah, you can go ahead. So yeah. yesterday, let's go. We saw you guys go three and zero, and then also today, um, or also afterwards, uh, we saw we saw uh, Low Pro come out here and continue to dominate. They haven't yeah. lost a game since their very first game at OT7 at the yeah. Arizona Divisional. Sure. Um, that team, we feel, I think a lot of us feel, are like one of the favorites out there. What what's the plan of attack against certain of these teams that have different strategies? I think Low Pro is a team that doesn't like to take too many deep shots. Sure. They're just going to take what the defense gives them. Yeah, we're, I, yeah. I, I spent some time talking to the head coach of Low Pro last night in the hotel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Very humble gentleman, and uh, just a ton of respect for him too. Right, and you can tell the difference between coaches that are out here that are that are that are, that are pretenders in this space, right? Right, and that um, they're they're gentlemen that are actually like like coaches, and they yeah. understand the game. Um, and is there a specific coach you would say is a pretender out here? <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys, yeah, yeah. I think you guys, I think you guys do a good job of pointing that out, right? So like, sure. It's a, it's a difference in this space, right? Is like a team like Lopro, like. They do such a good job, and you can tell they practice together, and um, they do a good job of, of not only like coaching those kids, but at the same time, um, mentoring them too. Because yeah. it's bigger than football, it's about life, here. right? So yeah. like, very humble, have a ton of respect, right, for their opponents. We're going to take and, that uh, word they win with class, and, First down. And, uh, First they do down. a very, very good job. So I had a great conversation with him yesterday. Love that. I think that's been a key element in a lot of the teams is just the mentorship. Um, level 82, Tory Smith always talks yeah, about. Tory. Yeah, he talks about what, what he's doing for the kids rather than just football. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It's 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 good to see. Yeah. Tory, yeah, we, me and Tory were going to trade playbooks the other day. Like Austin Pettis <laughs> and Tory got a pretty good relationship too. Oh, okay. So Tory's another one does a really, really good job. That's a cool thing about a space like this that it's like when you go to a lot of these other tournaments, with great tournaments, right? Is but when when you have so many athletes, now the coaching really comes out. Because if I can match you athlete for athlete, you got to fucking coach now. Excuse my language, right? Like, like you got to coach now, and that's that's the biggest difference, right? And um, yeah, like I always say, players win games, coaches lose games. 
you know, and so at some point it's going to come down to DNA football, right? And everybody's DNA pretty much matches up. This is the one percenters here, right? Like the best of the best, right? Um, and now it comes down to scheme and, and, like I said, execution. But yeah, Tory Smith is another one. They do a fantastic job over there at level 82. So. And uh, the W athlete, he's in the chat right now. This is a close game right now. He want to know who you think is going to win. Oh, oh, there you are. In this game, in this game, in this game I in think Toe. 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 Yeah, I think Toe. Yeah, I think Toe is going to win. Um, no, no disrespect, D. Sorry, you know what I mean. Like, it's okay. We disrespect yeah. them all. The no, time. no, but I, I have, I have like actually Big Nick, right? Was yeah. at me and my wife's wedding. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, oh, that's so awesome. I was one of Nico's first quarterback coaches. Oh, that's so awesome. we go way back. Today. I actually got a, a, a clip on my phone of Nico when he was a freshman, right? Alive. Ripping an 18-yard comeback right, opposite right, high school right. hash, and that ball <laughs> never even arched. Right. So, wow. like, his son Nico is probably – He's a stud. Yeah, dude, like, probably one of the most naturally yeah. gifted quarterbacks I've seen in 10 years. So, um, wow. and him, and I trained Jaden Daniels, too, LSU starting quarterback. Yeah. And, like, so they would come out and they'd get a lot of work together okay. a couple years back, right? So, um, but, yeah, I, me and Nick go back probably, like, three, four years. So they, he does a good job. Um, and we know some of these these kids out there, too. Yeah. So, yeah. What are some of your early impressions of Madden here? You know, I think they, they showed up to the Baltimore Divisional, mm -hmm. and he was cooking. It yeah. was just like, man, this is Nico's little brother, but yeah. he's looking. It's, it's funny, right? Because they – so when they first started coming out into training with me uh, in the IE, where I'm from, my old high school, San Gregorio High School, shout out, right? Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> uh, Madden was just coming out as kind of like a receiver, and he was just catching. And like he didn't do any quarterback work, and then all of a sudden, like a couple years later, like he's out there slinging it, right? I think they're different. I think Madden and Nico are different, right? Because, and I think their volleyball background contributes to like their their, their release, right? The snap at the end. Um, and I think they've been playing so many years of volleyball. Like that's where you get that that wrist yeah, and speed. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. They're different releases. They do, right? And uh, but like I think Madden, what makes him different as a football player is that Madden can line up a tight end, Madden can line up an H back, middle linebacker. Like yeah, that's, that's what his dad yeah. was saying. His dad yeah. was saying that the yeah. plan for him was to be one of the top safety sure. linebacker combos sure. in, in the country. Yeah, but now absolutely. He ended up switching a quarterback. He's only been playing the position for two, three years. Yeah, and let's yeah. just say, like, yeah, like, and, and so, like, I think it kind of surprised all of us. You know what I mean? But it didn't because we knew how, what a good athlete he was. I just didn't. I was like, oh, shit. He's a quarterback now? He's a, he's a damn good one, too. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's really, really good to see him out here slinging it around. And you know, you know he's got something to prove now too, right? Because um, Nico's obviously going to have a lot of success at Tennessee, and we're going to see what happens with Madden now, where he's going to go, and he's going to play to Power 5 Division one football. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're very different, but right. they're both very, 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 very good. What do you think about the PJ pants that they usually wear? <laughs> uh, I know Nico kind of uh, started that, and I'm, I'm old school. Like, I'm not, a big, oh. I'm not a big fan of the PJ fans, and that's, like, that's no shot at anybody that wears them. <laughs> I'm just not like it's jeez. Like uh, yeah, I know it's good entertainment value and stuff like that. I just I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay. All right, all right, right. so we're not gonna get you out and He got he got the Scooby Doo cleats on right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that from yeah, up here. He got yeah. the Adidas Scooby Doo cleats. I'm gonna ask him about them. Snipe, I'm glad you brought that up because you know we just started overtime boxing recently and Sniper was mentioning maybe he could get you in the ring. Who? Uh, no, that wasn't Sniper down there on the field uh, <laughs> no. he got the microphone, he's uh, behind Snipe. the quarterback. It's not yeah, all you guys in the broadcast, but this is okay. We're gonna address this right now. <laughs> Which one of you guys, like every time I'm watching yeah, something over time, it's so funny because everybody's like, Who's gonna win in a fight between Coach Porter and such and such? <laughs> That's Tom. That's Coach who's sitting, right like, sitting right like, next to you. Jesus. That is Tom sitting right next to you. It's a respectful fight. Yeah, like, good <laughs> God. Hey, 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 yeah, but you guys don't know my background and where I really come from. You well, know, we always like, say that. Without Tom, knowing, we, we all say you're number one. Celebrity deathmatch. Yeah, man. Like, listen, 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 I'm a dad now right i try to okay. approach everything with love you know what i mean i'm trying to forget my past right like and, yeah you know what i mean so like See, that's what i said i said, I, said I, I took you against coach jr because i think you got more donkey any, any coach coming out to two pockets hey listen and that was like the 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 the, the cleanest version of two block i want to come out to you know what i mean because exactly. i have some shit like you see me i'm driving to my training sessions or you're gonna take a shower i'm, I'm yeah i'm Tupac, like, huh? oh, bro, yeah. I hit him up. You know what I mean? I'm about to say, what, what's your pregame songs, man, when you get so, ready? So you got listen, man, so my, my choice of music, you guys probably be a little surprised. Like, mm. hip-hop's my second choice. Like, I'm into some, like, heavy, hardcore rock, bro. Oh, like, wow. like, I'm into some shit shit. Like, <laughs> my favorite band is the Deftones, right? But I'm in the hardcore <laughs> scene, right? Like, okay. I'm in the, like, the inside of my arm is the Deftones right there. And okay. like, yeah, I'm in big into classical rock. That's but, like, that's that's my, like, second to my down. wife, that's that's our baby-making music right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
It heavy sets metal. the tone, baby. <laughs> yeah, it sets the tone. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, man, I'm intense, man. Like, I, yeah. I'm intense. But that music, like, like my dad, the way my mom and dad raised me, they raised me on like I listened to Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, oh, Rolling Stones, The Doors, and then the next day it'd be Smokey Robinson, The Miracles, Motown. So like the yeah. culture, that's right? The like, world. It's, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, it's dope, right? But like, yeah, I, I prefer hard rock, right? But I know most of the kids ain't messing with it. So like, so you find a little blend. Yeah, man. Gotta like, find a good mix. I got, yeah, yeah, but I, the culture, like I said, I'm, I'm from San Bernardino, California. Shout out to 909 IE, right? So, like, back home, there's culture, right? There's, 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 there's you know, Polynesian, there's Hispanic, there's African American, right? And there's Asian American, and then there's, there's, there's Caucasian, right? And so it's a big melting pot of so many different. So you, you're, you get experience to everything. You know what I mean? And so, like, you get to hear all kinds of different music and and uh, get to be around. This is what football is all about, right? Is that the diversity. Well, we have you number one in the fighting list of all the coaches. Yes. Well, it's you and Big Nick at the top. And we might need to add that to the throwdown. And I got it. This is, I'll show you guys a picture. I have a picture where he, Nick's just a large human being. He's a big guy. Yeah, like, I have a picture. I'll show you guys after this, right? I'll send it to you guys. And I had a bunch of my groomsmen, right? And Nick is holding me like a French curl bar. <laughs> Swear to God. Like, he's holding me. Right, like, and it's That's crazy, hilarious. right? And you have like all my former, you know, seven on seven players, mm. right? And then you have our groomsmen, and he's like literally holding me, guys. And he's right in the middle. <laughs> he's smiling. I think he's even with one arm, right? And he's even doing like the hang loose sign. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, yeah, it's nice. it's it's cool. He's a very large human being. You talking yeah. about this being like the, the the Super Bowl of seven on seven? Yeah. Tomorrow we have like what's short, essentially like the All Star short. game of seven on seven. We yeah. got the Adidas Throwdown. Yeah. I was wondering who do you have participating in that one, and, and will you will we be seeing you running the forty? You know? Listen. <laughs> I'm going to be 42 in September, yeah. right? And I played nine years pro football, right? Mm. So, like, Make sure you get that ball across. Good job, I wake up sore, and I didn't do anything the day before. So, like, <laughs> yeah. I, I say you know, I age in dog years, right? So, like, I may be 42, <laughs> body, but, like, no I'm ball. pushing 76 ha right now. Having a taskless day waking up sore is crazy. Was, <laughs> dude, I was just <laughs> telling somebody, I was tell, dude, like, I was telling one of the referees, I was like, bro, I'm going to piss every 45 <laughs> seconds now. <laughs> like, this is crazy to me, right? And, like, I don't necessarily take, like, I'm rocking the dad bod now, right? But, like, before I had my last son you know what i mean i used to go to the gym like two three hours a day like and those days are gun like done done so like participating absolutely fucking not like that ain't like, like I'll, i'm a 15 yard specialist in my throws like even ap now he's he hit 34 35 yeah coach pettis and i was like yo dude i signed you and tory smith up right for like the route running competition and they both looked at me they're like no you didn't like it ain't happening like i was trying to mess with them for them they're like i'm not doing it like i don't really understand i'm not doing this i love it yeah everything hurts too much now. dude like and it's 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 so true, Make right? Because running. now there's just the technology is so much more advanced, and people are just investing, you know, millions of dollars in their body to take care of themselves, right? And like, I'll be honest, I eat like a 12 year old. Two. So like, <laughs> but yeah, oh, play there. Oh. oh, this is one. Pressure's oh. defense looks a lot better. This game is a lot better. They added a couple yeah. players, man. And yeah. I, I will say it. this is the lowest scoring game I think in this year. We got four minutes left in this game. Five to four. Team Toa is up. Pressure gets the ball back here. Yep. But yeah, no one can do anything on offense. But this is quietly a very close game. Yeah. Now, what is the score? It is five, five to, four. to four right now. Nobody's scoring. Cool, with, with that one, Nobody pressure just cool. cut bro, the deficit is, uh, to four. This is a hockey game. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a very low scoring game right now. But Toa, Toa's defensively, uh, Toa defensively has been their biggest weakness. They can always score, it seems like. But, that is a nice ball. I'm, listen, I'm pretty impressed with the quarterback. He's from South. He's a lefty, right? Mississippi, yeah. And, and like, like I tell lefty quarterbacks, like, they usually look like they have really funky releases, and mm -hmm. he's got a very natural whip to him, good release. Yeah. And he throws a very, his spin rate and spiral efficiency is very consistent and very good, which, That's because the left-handed spin mm -hmm. is, is an adjustment for receivers. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Time. yeah. If you ever go back and look back like what Jerry Rice talked about at playing with Joe Montana, mm -hmm. I mean, with Steve Young, it took him a year to adjust to it. Right. Wow. Okay. So if you're going to have a big arm as a lefty, your spin rate or your spiral efficiency has to be on point. And coach, that's your main thing, yeah. working with quarterbacks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm responsible for like something like over 70 quarterbacks across the country, nope. right? And I put out nine Division One quarterbacks last year. I was fortunate, right? Like I got better kids than I. Did. Who's the best one you ever you ever ever worked with? Jaden Daniels. Yeah, Jaden Daniels. Yeah, starting quarterback at LSU. Yeah, hands down. Like, and, and I mean, I shouldn't say hands down, but like, he, yeah. I've been working with him since he was like 11 years old. Oh, that's awesome. And, um, because yeah. a lot of it comes down not just fundamental, but it's just decision making no and how you live your life no off the field mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. And just, you have to have an unhealthy obsession with this thing called quarterback, 
Right, Punch. and that's obsession and desire beats talent every time. Oh, 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 oh. It's gonna be but a flag yeah. on that play. But speaking of quarterbacks, you got two guys here. Yeah. You've seen a lot of Luke Fahey, but you brought here Bear Bachmeyer, obviously sure. older brother. Oh, Hank played at BYU, yeah. or not BYU, Boise State, Boise State. and then, uh, Louisiana Tech. Yeah. What, what, what can you say about those two guys? Bear has been out here cooking. <laughs> yeah, it's been nice to which see. is cool, right? Because Bear, like I always say in these tournaments, it, it comes down to quarterback play, in my opinion. And so, like when you guys are like send the rosters, right? You see the rosters, and it's like a new quarterback with a new team, yeah. And it may be some new five-star quarterback. Like so, they don't have yeah. chemistry with them. You know what yeah. I mean? They don't understand the playbook. So the biggest thing is, is Luke has been consistent with us all year long. So to be able to add Bear and to Bear watch to be able to come from a family like with Hank, mm. he's been Make coached sure very well and he understands. Leg he knows how to process running. information and very good decisions. Yep. Now, he hasn't played seven on seven all year, so we got to get him in a rhythm. So what I've done is one, obviously you see I have two different two, groups for receivers. Mm -hmm. So I put him, um, oh, I put him, I switch groups. So I'll have Luke switch to the second group of receivers and then Bear go with the first group because the first group receivers communicate a little bit better. Got it. Okay. So they can finally get bet in a better rhythm. But I, I'm so impressed with Bear. Those are the future, uh, obviously, of California power. And in my opinion, Luke Fay, he's the best 2026 quarterback in the country. Wow. Um, he's the Desmond Ritter. That's what he reminds me of. Okay. Cincinnati. And then Bear Bachmeyer, I, I think, pound for pound, literally 230 pounds, yeah. is, uh, is the best quarterback in 2025. Right. And just, wow. He's, 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 yeah. And how can you not like a quarterback that wears number 47? It's That's so crazy. Cool. <laughs> that, that the name, the hair, the number, he's kind of got it all going for us. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, right, too. It's like he's, the, he's Otto Graham. Right? Somebody Otto Graham wore number 60. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh yeah. If somebody would tell me that pressure would be in a nail-biting game with zero touchdowns, I would not be. <laughs> it, it's, it doesn't matter how the game goes. It doesn't goes matter what the score oh, is, bro. I, I said it again. I'll possession. say it again. Death, taxes, and pressure playing in incredibly close, stressful games. It's going to keep happening. Yeah. They're at four points right now. Five to four, and it's a nail biter. Five What's to four, and it's a nail biter. Is this their fourth game, or is this their fifth game? This is, I believe, this is their, uh, this is their fourth game. So they got one more after this. No, this is their fifth game, actually. I'm yeah, sorry, this one is their last right game. Yeah, they're gonna one gonna and three right now. So this is their last game. Point differential, bro. That's the yeah. part that's hard. Yeah, they look different than yesterday. They, look good. they got some size on them. Yeah, too. they do. Yeah. They do look different. They look a whole lot bigger. They added some pieces. Martel's Carter was like one of the best defensive players. He was playing with SMSB before. Yeah. And like three picks in a game in uh, sure. in Austin. Sure. And he just was going crazy. But now we've uh, now now he's with Team Pressure. Two, three. He's nice trying to find someone over the middle. Oh, that one's taken oh, time. Bro, team Tall looks like a timeout. completely different no team defensively, and so does pressure here today. Yeah. Yeah. Team Tall was having real trouble. It's going to be a timeout here. The game is going to come down to this last play. Four five seconds five on the board, man. You can't lose five to four. That's tough. Somebody's hurt. Got a couple of man team. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. What do we look to do here? They're on the one inch yard line. How do we. Uh, well, Tall is going to play man. Okay. So I'm going to give him an option. I'm going to go three by two, right? So I'm going to go empty. Three receivers to one side, two receivers to the other, and I'm a sprint. I'm gonna do a sprint option. I'm gonna do some type of pick rub concept. Okay. Right. So we'll say rub because we can't say pick. Yeah. Yep. So it does have one blitz remaining, which I, I, would you do you go blitz here? One thousand percent. Yeah. I put my biggest guy right to also troll the line of scrimmage to bat it up too. You yeah. haven't played good against the blitz either. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Up in the air, and that's how this game is gonna end. Toe. Not a single touchdown, but Team Toa gets the victory, seven to four. Wow. Pressure will finish pool play with a record of one and four. Every game was close. Every game was close. <laughs> Every single game. That, that, I guess that's a, that's a positive you can have there. I think the positive for Team Toa is offensively has not been where they've been struggling in this tournament. It has been defensively here and in Baltimore. And here, they hold pressure to no touchdowns whatsoever. But yeah. we're going to head out of here. We have another game coming up next. Team Toa is hopping right back on this field against Level 82, a rematch of the OT7 North Final. Appreciate Coach Porter yeah, stopping thanks. by with yeah, us. Thanks, guys. Thank you thanks, very guys. much. Appreciate you. Guys, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back to Los Angeles, California for the OT7 Championship presented by by Adidas. We are here on the last day, Championship Sunday, where we will be crowning a national champion. Oh, it's a pretty trophy. Very, very pretty trophy. There's Zach Sample hitting a backflip. Next up, we got Pressure Elite 
facing off against 24 K. One of these teams is going through. One of these teams is going home. Defcon, we've seen an OT divisional, OT7 divisional champion, and the reigning defending champion both sit home yep. in two of the first three games. Now we have the fourth game. We have pressure. We have we have 24K. Let's take a look at the bracket. See what we've had go on so far. This matchup is going to be an interesting one. Pressure taking on 24K. The winner of this is going to be taking on the juggernaut. Yeah. That is low prospects. Not good. <laughs> it, is, Not good. it is going to be crazy. We have all of the other quarterfinals set. It's time to get the last one set right here with 24K facing off against Pressure. What should we be looking forward to in this game? Look, man, I like with pressure, it all comes down to can they get into a rhythm offensively? They struggled a little bit in the first two days scoring the football. You know, they have a lot of energy. Deuce Knight, their lefty quarterback, he's awesome. I love his attitude, his competitor. Uh, and they got Zachariah Sample as well. So I look to see if pressure can score early because once they get momentum, them, Kyan Barry, like they're good. Mm -hmm. They just they start a little slow. To me, it's all about the starts for team pressure. They came out here with some of the crispiest uniforms I have Crazy. ever seen. They got the baby blue Laker joints on, bro. These are these, these things is clean. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're clean. I I, I really dig them. But they're out here in LA. It's it's championship Sunday. They said they got to come correct today. I'm excited to see what they can do, but this game is going to be intense, guys. I know you guys were here to see pressure. If you guys are, are digging pressure, I know we're going to ask you guys who you think is going to win, but we yep. all know you guys think pressure is going to yeah. win this game. I'm excited to see them win this one. Hopefully, they get this one done for my boy D. I'm, I'm unbiased, D very biased it, commentator. He needs it. No, they need it. I'm, I'm excited to see it. 24K on the ball. They're going to be starting off this game early. Trevor Jackson, quarterback, is back. I like it. For 24K, and they came out with the black and gold. So I'm not going to lie. This is a battle of really good uniforms. These are two of my favorite uniforms for sure. I need everyone in the chat to comment, like. If you want pressure to win, you got to throw them a like. D's going to be checking this throughout the game. Let's see how many likes we can get for pressure and 24K. I really hope they can. I, we know it's going to be a close game. Every yeah. pressure game Every is close. Every death, taxes, and pressure <laughs> playing and anxiety-inducing nail biters. <laughs> Good That's defense. incomplete for 24K. Phenomenal coverage there from Ryland Dillard Allen. Man's got offers to the University of Washington, Arizona State, and Arizona. Out of Phoenix, Arizona, he's one of he's one of Coach OTB's guys, so you know they're gonna show up there. Shout out to Kendall who just took over for Sam in the chat for a little bit. We are firing Sam. Fi Sam has been fired. <laughs> Sam has in the been chat. fired. Hey, and also I want to see Day. How is it? How are you feeling down there? I see you on 24K sideline. How's everything? We're doing good. We're on the sideline of 24K. Hey, happy Father's Day. What's <laughs> our confidence level one to ten going in this game? Right now? Not one short. Best of luck. <laughs> that's their defensive coordinator, who that is the most chill I've ever heard him be. He is usually it's because they're on that's offense. That's why I had to interview him now, because I was worried he's going to start yelling <laughs> in my face in about offense. three minutes. <laughs> I did want to say happy Father's Day to everyone in the chat. I wanted to get while his blood pressure was low. <laughs> Yeah. Man, day interrupting your Father's Day. Uh, no, you know, it's all good. It's all good, man. You know? Day, I'm sorry. <laughs> day, 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 it is what it is, man. You know, I just want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers that are watching. And um, low pro. You know, and low pro. Yeah, they're everybody's father. Everyone's That's what you can <laughs> Happy Father's Day to you, too, as well. You know, yeah, um, it's hard sunning you, boys. Be honest with you. <laughs> it's hard. We got D with the hood up on the sideline. Being stressed out? Uh, I think he's here. definitely stressed out a little bit. I, <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna be tough, but pressure came to play. It's a big third down right here. They need to get to the 25 yard line. There's another penalty. Is that? Oh, uh, they just blew the they just blew the play dead. But if there was another penalty, that'd be a first down just on two penalties, which I think Coach OTB might blow a gasket if that happened. We got a lot of people are rooting for the uh, pressure. Out here. Yeah, no, I think pressure. Uh, uh, Chat, what do y'all think about pressure's uniforms today? They are tough. We actually had someone compare them to a New York Knicks uniform. I don't really see that. Nah, New York Knicks is they're making these. They're Lakers. They, they, oh, and that, yeah, exactly. Air to find their guy shot over that to says the those are Lakers. That's going to be a first down for 24K. Courtney Crutchfield picks up the first down for them. So they're going to be moving the ball. But to me, it's all about the starts for pressure. They start off slow. And then they just have to have these like comebacks where they end up getting in the last second of the game. But whenever they start off hot, man, they, they typically perform really, really well. Yep. Shout out to Tyler Grigsby, man. I feel like he's in every single chat. He's commenting a diamond emoji, showing that he's a pressure fan. Tyler Grigsby, we appreciate you, man. Dave, what's going on down there, man? Hey, Mr. Zebra, 24K is upset with you. What are they mad about here? They're mad. <laughs> Oh, you're giving warnings here. 
I gave him a warning. We already penalized him one time, so I gave him the warning. The ball was not snapped. There's no play. You're a nice guy. I'm a good guy. A good guy. I'm a good guy. You know, when your voice goes up like that, it makes me not believe you. I'm a good guy. Hey, go game sleeper. Go game. Good book. Appreciate that, that day. I, I want to forget that ever happened. Yeah, yeah, that, was, uh, yeah okay. uh, that was something. Overtime <laughs> Sam is back in the chat, sadly. Everyone comment L Sam. Comment L Sam, and I'll give away a t-shirt to someone who comments L Sam in the chat. It's going to be a first down. I think he was just short of the line. I think he was just short of the line. Going to be a first down, though, for 24K. Not the best start defensively for pressure here. I want to see them go through. I need to see them go through. Love it. I will say this though, they are they do have the toughest road to the championship that a team could possibly have. Yeah, it's impossible. Pressure, if, if, they, if they end up getting the victory here in this game, they would have to face off against Low Pro next, who has literally killed everybody. They play this 24K team and they beat them 36 to nine. Yeah, it's not good. No. <laughs> Trevor Jackson dropped back, finds his guy over the middle right through his hands. Man, we have seen like three drop touchdowns today. Two words. I love the L Sams is coming. Oh, they're they're raining in. They're raining in right now. L Sam. L Sam in the chat He's is so crazy. mad next to me right now. <laughs> right through the hands of Courtney Crutchfield. All right, we gotta pick someone to give a t-shirt away to you with the L Sam. Mm -hmm. Keep keep going actually. We'll give away a t-shirt in a little bit. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Trevor Jackson rolling out to the right. Gonna find his guy in the end zone at 24K. Will take an early lead. That's Rick Darius Farmer. That's a crazy name, Rick, Rick Darius? Rick, <laughs> yeah, Rick Darius Farmer. He is a pit commit from Coco, Florida. 5'11", 160 pounds. His nickname is Day Day. So I'm gonna call him Day Day Farmer. <laughs> Yo, D was not feeling Day Day yesterday Recovered. because Day Day did not show up to D's one on ones at the Adidas Throwdown. Yeah, well, no, 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 he did. He did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He I showed up. He was mad about it. No, no, there was like eight other kids that didn't show up to D's right, one on ones. Shout out to Day Day. Yeah, no. Shout out to shout out to all the all the guys that, that ended up going out there. Aiden plays defense for Low Pro. He's the one that ended up winning the uh, the ones. There's also some really phenomenal performances from other guys like Miles Crimisoli. Yep. Our boy out there with the belly, the belly celly guy. Oh, here we so. go. Hey, we're going to pick a winner right now for the t-shirt. Uh, let's do it to Tristan McMillan. DM Overtime Sam your address and your shirt size. Overtime Sam on Instagram. Tristan McMillan, you just want a t-shirt. Great job, man. Great job. No more L Sams in the chat. We love Sam. We love Sam. And we do have a very special guest in the booth. We have Andrew Ivins. Is that how you say your last name? Yep. Ivins? Yep. Yep. Andrew Ivins. He is the director of scouting for 24-7 out here peeping some talent. How you doing today, Andrew? I'm doing good, man. It's been a long few days, but finishing it up here at a loaded event of talent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yesterday, or not yesterday, but Friday, rather, you got to see Jeremiah Smith, number one receiver in the country, go up against uh, Ellis Robinson, the number one DB in the country, and they were going back and forth. What can you say about an event like OT7 where you get to see all of this superstar talent all over the field? Well, I think that's exactly the matchup I would have highlighted, right? You get the number one player, or number one wide receiver, number one cornerback, and sure, these guys are not wearing pads. They got the soft helmets on, but just to see them battle it out and do uh, start with a dive over the shoulder. Did he get in the end zone? They call that a touchdown? Yes, yes. Yes, definitely. that is a definitely. touchdown. That Dwayne Jerome Harris <laughs> applying the pressure in the end zone. These team pressure ties it up quickly. <laughs> I like mine. that they scored a touchdown. It's the first in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we'll go back to you, Andrew. Hey, Deuce Knight, that's a quarterback to watch in the class of 2025. 6'4", lefty, the super strong arm. We were talking to a couple of the coaches, and you were saying that he's able to spin the ball really, really well for a lefty. Usually their motion is a little funky, but him, it's just, he's ripping that thing out there. He's got offers to Tennessee, Washington, Ole Miss. What school do you think of the school to look out for? <laughs> I think it's still a little bit early, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of the 24 quarterbacks are already making their decisions, so schools are pivoting uh, to other arms and, you know, I had a college staffer text me. I can't say which school, but he had Deuce had camp there, and they said this kid's the real deal. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. Hey, real quick, before we talk more about Deuce, we got overtime day down there. Man, he just scored a touchdown day. How are we doing down there? Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Kieran. Hey, what happened on that touch on there? Pressing up on me, I told Deuce. Throw that. He threw it. You're eating your mouthpiece right now. My fault. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, but nah. 
I told Deuce Thor I made a play, he made a great ball, so we scored. A lot of people out here saying a lot of not very nice things about pressure. Yep. What do you guys have to do today to shut them up? Handle business. Handling it right now. It's early in the game, we gotta get this dub and keep going. Keep handling it. Good luck. Back to you guys. That is such a cool uniform, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do have a question for you though, Andrew. So you come to these like seven on seven tournaments and you see all of these super duper talented players and highly ranked guys, and then you have a team like Low Pro come out here and just completely dominate. How do you go about scouting and ranking those guys? Because obviously they're smaller, I think like collegiate power five size is not the same, but how do you go about scouting guys that, that are just very, very good technically but maybe don't have the size? Well, we're always watching. You know, that's why we're out here. What a hey. dime! Touchdown for 24K. Get a lot of offense right now. Get a lot of offense right now. We might get a little bit of a shootout going. Josiah Booker on the catch right there. Just completely burnt everybody. And that was against the Blitz. What a ball from Trevor Jackson. Trevor Jackson, quarterback here for 24K. That's actually Tramel Jones. Oh, sorry, yeah, Tramel Jones, rather, sorry. Yeah, the 2025 committed to Florida State. They took him early. He's got a great deep ball. Uh, playing at Jacksonville Mandarin up there in the Sunshine State. I think they're a favorite to win a state title. Tons of talent at that high school. Oh, you're talking a little about the low pro kids. What can you say about them? I mean, man, I, schematically their Come offense on, clicks, and I think it drives a lot of these defenses, which are kind of loaded with all the four and five stars crazy. But, you know, we're out here watching. If a kid pops, we're definitely going to include them and, and write them up. And, you know, I, I think so many of the guys here are talking about playing at the power five level. But when you look to, uh, you know, group of five, even FCS, and from what we've seen in the transfer portal, I mean, one of these kids can go to one of those schools and then they keep producing. They can uh, just transfer on up. But Mike and Eugenio, specifically the quarterback, he, he's at Bishop Gorman. Do you think he could potentially be more, more one of those power five guys? Yeah, we'll see. You know, our, our uh, West Coast guy, Brandon Huffman, who I work with, is a big fan. I, you know, he was, as soon as the tournament started, he said, keep an eye on Eugenio. Um, hasn't played a ton of varsity snaps. I think right. a lot of schools want to yeah, see that. So, here. you know, he gets on there. Absolutely, his stock at Skyrocket. Yeah, I'm not. He's, he's been unbelievable. Obviously, Mike Alejado, he's the quarterback for him. He threw a lot to Zach Branch last year. <laughs> Zach Branch's highlight tape is ridiculous to watch. <laughs> it's, it's, it's up there with, like, the, the Anthony Thomas tape on Austin type. But I, I did have a question about uh, one of the wide receivers that we saw here earlier, Chance Wiggins. We had him up here in the booth last game. Unbelievable talent. We saw him for the first time. He was a, like, lower-ranked three-star out of Virginia. What do you think about him? He's been coming to all of these tournaments and just lighting things up. I've seen Chance Wiggins probably in five different states scattered across the country. It seems like he's at every competition. You know, he's at every event. No, he's he, he's a really talented prospect. I think he's a guy that's going to have a lot of success on Saturdays. You know, the thing that probably is separating him from some of the others, maybe that top end speed. But he's still able to create a ton of separation. He's got strong hands. We saw him come in and play a little defense there at the end for level 82. Touchdown. 24K got a stop defensively, and now they're back on the offensive side of the ball. Another fun prospect we've seen, number eight right here for pressure, Martel Carter. Martel's Carter Jr. We saw him for the first time on SMSB playing a lot with uh, Boo Carter, who recently just committed to Tennessee. Another very talented player. But what can you tell us about Martel's? I think he's uh, <laughs> he, he showed up to these tournaments and been dominating on the defensive side of the ball as well. No, absolutely. He moves well in reverse. Good lateral quickness. I remember him from the OT7 event in Orlando. Okay. He was an eye catcher for us. And I think we ended up putting him inside our top 247. Going to be a guy to know next cycle, right? Uh, and the state of Tennessee has really been producing some good prospects. Well, I see you with a... That, guy, that, that yeah. guy right there, Courtney Crutchfield, I'm, yes. a, I'm a huge fan of him. Number uh, 12 out there on 24K? Yeah, he's headed to Arkansas. I think they have an absolute steal. So every year I do kind of a, a freaks list where it's the freakiest recruits for that <laughs> okay. cycle. Courtney Crutchfield is a candidate to make it on there. He has insane track and field jumping numbers. You turn on the basketball tape, he's flushing it, attacking the rim. Wow. And you look at him, right, he's high hips. So he's got those high hips and he's just super explosive. And this really, you guys want to talk about this tournament, this is our first real live exposure to him. Okay. You know, he's a kid that's in the natural state. Normally we wouldn't see him if it wasn't for this. So we ranked him high. We come out here, me and my colleagues were like, all right, First off, we didn't even know who number 12 was. We're like, I, <laughs> yeah. and then you go up to him and he's like, oh, it's Courtney Crutcher. All right, pass the eye test. So. Yeah. You, know, you talk about high hips. I don't think any of us ever thought about that before. There's some weird things that scouts look at that I would just never think about. Like when you're an athlete like me, like high hips, like my hips are high. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I know, you got to be a real elite athlete. Yeah, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> is, there, is there anything else like that that you could that I could think about? Well, frames, right? I mean, this is it, as much as people don't want to admit it. It's a it's a height, weight, speed game, right? right. And, and it, you guys brought up low pro, and you know maybe they don't have the biggest kids, but the evaluators at the next level are always looking for frames, right? If you're gonna miss, you want to miss big. Whoa! Oh, what a catch! Oh, 24K with the Sally. That's no real white. What an unbelievable snag! 24K taking firm control of this game. Pressure, got to do something to respond here. I, I talk a lot of trash about 24K in the preview show. I said that they were the worst team coming in, but honestly, they've. That's they've, how I felt. <laughs> I like them like on offense. I, I, I think their coaching staff it does a good job calling for different plays and getting guys involved. They look pretty good right now. I mean, pressure also just looks solid. bad. Norrell White with that catch. He's also headed to Arkansas. He's going to be a Razorback. There you go. Yeah, we gotta we gotta put a stop to uh, to Pittman getting all these good guys. SEC the guys. Well, Sam Pittman's an O-line coach by trade, right? Yeah. So they, you know, you look at their recruiting classes, what they've done. It's a lot of big bodies up front, a lot of good running backs. But man, I, I come out here to this, and you see these two perimeter playmakers, well, Courtney Crutchfield or L. White. I mean, it gets my mind churning about what they could do on the offensive side of the ball. Love that. And Cam, We're we gonna got throw a money down the day here, real right? quick. Oh, there yeah. You go. Hey, no real. Was he too small for you? It was dimly so. I should have hit the little bone in his ass and got the dig. And was the catch better or the dance better? I feel like the dance better. That's my signature. I do it every time. And talk about the throw. It was good. He let me just little bone. All, all, all that. And wait, sorry, show me the signature dance one time. Hey, hey. Yo. Hey, hey. For real. Hey, no real. Appreciate it. That's a 37-year-old man. I forgot I was wearing yeah, the yeah. headset. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was about to say, we didn't really get to I, I, see that one day. I was, I was, get, I was getting a little jiggy, and then I forgot I was wearing the headset. <laughs> yeah, no, that man's voice was unbelievably deep. That was a uh, mad uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Couple guys out here for uh, for pressure. You got Zach Sample down here. We got Kyan Barry somewhere. Couple, we talk about the receivers for uh, for pressure. There's Zach, There's Sample Zach Sample right there. Picks up the first down for them. What do you yeah. think about him? He, he talks a lot. I like him. <laughs> he, he's an explosive little slot. I remember him again from the OT7 Orlando event. He was making some acrobatic grabs. Headed to Arizona State. Right, going to play for Coach Dillingham. Kenny, Kenny Dill, Dilly Dilly. Uh, I think it's a great take. I mean, talk about them being in the Pac-12. It's a passing league. Um, nice, nice, nice pickup for the Sun Devils. Who's the best player you ever scouted? Uh, you want to talk seven on seven or what? Not just football. Just, just football, yeah. I'll say this, right? Jeremiah Smith, you brought him up on the front end of the broadcast. I'm a guy based in South Florida. Been down there, you know, almost 10 years. And I think Jeremiah Smith is probably the best wide receiver prospect I've seen come out of the Tri-County wow. area. Wow. Damn. No, he's, he's very, very talented. Andrew, one more question before we get out of here. Why is Texas going to win the national championship this next year, <laughs> given all the talent that they have on that roster? You can go ahead and tell the people. I, I try to tell them, but they just don't believe me. So I'll have the director of scouting at 24-7 time. Well, I love what they're doing on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. And uh, the quarterback room, I think, is shaping up to be one of the best in the country. Obviously, mm -hmm. Quinn Ewers, Arch Manning, Malik Murphy. you seen Arch play before, like in person? I, I, I actually haven't. Okay. Right? He was a guy that didn't really go to much. Right. Uh, but we had some of our guys that would go to his games there in, in, in New Orleans. Um, wasn't one that we got any, but he didn't do any of the all-star events, right. you know, those all-star games. But I do love the running back. I do love the running back they had that came in, Cedric Baxter. Yeah, he finishes a five-star for us. Might get another one here soon, though, too. Hopefully, Jared Gibson. But <laughs> we got to see him early. But, Andrew, we appreciate you for your time. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. Excited to see the rest of this tournament here, but. Of course, guys, we're going to have a, a dream team from this event on, on 247sports.com. Did one last year. It was loaded with dudes, so stay awesome. tuned to that, man. That's why I'm out here scouting. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate we'll it, it out. Out. Thank you so much, Andrew. If you're patient, let me please. Then pressure game. man falling apart. <laughs> yeah, no, pressure. <laughs> pressure, yeah. That, that, that last drive was kind of a killer. Uh, unfortunately for sad. D the and Coach OTB, man, it's. Um, <laughs> It's pretty tough, man. It's Look, man, tough. it's not it's not pressure's fault. I think 24K just 24K, playing real well. They just came to play, man. They came to play. You got uh, <laughs> you got Tremel Jones out here diamond people up. They're they're getting open deep. It's just it's been it's been pretty tough. It was a nice little pickup there. Can you guys please throw us a like, please, in the in the chat? We've had you guys out here all day. We got over 7,000 people watching this. Please throw a like in the chat because. 
Uh, I think we're close to a thousand. Maybe overtime Sam is lying to me and Garrett as well. But you know, I think we're close to a good number. So let's throw, let's throw a like out there. We got 24k on a money drive to add in. Some yeah, it's really right mean. <laughs> it's yeah. really mean. And yeah, there's Tramel. Cut across. Ooh. Oh. Oh. He's good. This is He's who good. we were calling Jameis Winston the other day, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is who D was calling Jameis Winston. I see it. You think I, I could it. be a scout? You think that guy would hire me? Um. No. No. No, not at all. No. Okay. No. I think uh, I think there'd be a bunch of overtime days on your on your on your, on your list. You could only be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, no. Well, anyways, I think I could be, but it, I'd have to. I'd have to venture oh, out. Yeah, D, we got D on camera right now, yeah, smiling. Hey, hey, D. Hey, D, can you hear us? I just turned it up. Yeah, I can hear you. Up, hey, D. <laughs> Oh, Y'all got the camera on me, man. I'm yeah, sorry. You look D. good. Can I have those sunglasses? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hey, D, honestly, you get you get robbed right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. They're cheating you. Nah, I don't think so. It's just. I gave you an out right there, and you we didn't gotta take be, it. Nah, here. we gotta be accountable, bro. We're, we're better than we, how we playing right now. So. Yeah. Can't make no excuses. Do you think I can get one of those uniforms? If you want, yeah. Yeah, that, no, that I definitely want to get one of these Sweet, uniforms. Please. They're pretty tough. Yeah, they are. They are. One the, with the little throwback uh, Lakers. Yeah, I think I think they're the cleanest uniforms I've seen. Thanks, man. I mean, nice. yeah. Yeah. Don't nah, matter if we don't win. Crazy, so. Yeah, no. It's too bad yeah. we're only going to see them one time, man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Lil' Pro can borrow them. <laughs> maybe. I don't know if they'll fit, though. These are, <laughs> <you know. laughs> it's not over yet, though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's not over. That's a sack right there. Actually, it is over. Is there, we need a, a, look, is there a slaughter rule? You need a pick right here. Two minutes left. Draw yeah. me up a scenario to where we come Okay, in. okay. So you need a pick right here that's going to get you to 13, right? So you need a pick that's going to get you to 13. Then pick you touchdown. go money drive. We already oh, are. You money drive. Money drive. Yeah, never mind. It's come over, on, D. Man. It's over, D. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got to be better. I'm just disappointed because I know my boy is way better than this, man. Yeah. yeah. These boys are talented. These boys play hard. They are very talented. And it's been a pleasure watching y'all, man. Y'all put this team together. I know how much it went into this, bro. No, I appreciate and, it. But, I know. mean, we got to show respect to 24K uh, as well. For sure. 100%. The boys do their thing. In warm-ups and, and pre-game, did you – were the vibes normal? Is this surprising to you? Like, you know, we was cool, bro. Every energy's up. Everybody felt good. I just, just didn't work. You get punched to the mouth. <laughs> you either fight back or fold. So. There's Josh Porter who made the uh, the final of the ones that you had yesterday. It's number 17 in the slot. Performing really well out here today as well. Hey man, there's only one good thing about D's team losing. He's going to join us in the booth for the rest of the day. Yeah, right? so at some point today, he's going to hop in here. So that'd be cool. At some point. <laughs> hey, D, is uh, 24K good? They got a chance to win the whole thing, or is it just low pro? No, 24K is good, man. It's anybody's tournament. It's going to be interesting to see how they do right here. Sturdy boys got off the field. Let's go. 24K play when they win. Hey, y'all. Y'all let me have my mic for the last 40 seconds, man. Go ahead. That's all you. Oh, this winner, right, this winner plays low pro. So 24K is going to be over there. Yeah. One. 27 to 11. Oh, almost intercepted on that one. At 15 seconds left in this one. It has been a pleasure watching pressure this OT7 season, but they will be coming up short against 24K. They call one of their timeouts right here. Man, I love these uniforms, too. I think that, that that's what kind of hurts me more than anything, Tom. The uniforms were, were yeah. amazing. Hey, Day, I'm about to head down there to be vibe cam in a little bit. Should I wear the, keep this hoodie on? What's the, what's the weather down there under the, without the tent? Yeah, I would keep the hoodie. Uh, you're going to get a little warm. Okay. Layers? Layers? Well, yeah, I could take it off after the break, too, so that'd be good. Yeah, I'm only two games down there. I'll, I'll leave. I'll Loose Knight dropping back. Give me a highlight. Give me a highlight. Oh! <laughs> you asked good me to do Yeah, that was tough. And with that final whistle, 24K is moving on. They're going to be facing Low Pro in the next round. They get the victory here, 27 to 11. D's team pressure eliminated, 24K. The Florida boys are going through to the next round. Guys, don't go anywhere. We will be right back with me again. I'll be right back. <laughs> After
after review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Follow me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two-minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Overtime Fits keeps blessing me with all these fits and you can cop them too. Head over to the OT shop and peat some of these new drops. All you gotta do is click the link below.